Wow. Well, this took an unexpected dark turn. You know, I, I, I basically, when I, I spoke to Sam, also Sam, she's amazing. She's very sweet. Wait, um, so who's Sam? I... It's time to play Ian's Future Wife. Yeah, the one and only introducing Ian, the intern. That's right. He's cute. He's thin. He's young. He's gainfully employed. You'll be sitting right here. Ian, thank you with a bundle of roses for me. <laughs> Have a seat. Keep the music going for Christ's sake. We're having too much fun in here. Yeah, Ian. He's about six foot tall, weighing in at what I would guess is 150 pounds of le- how much? 60? Less? What? He's a six Pure foot, muscle. 160 pounds. He's hot. He's fiery. He's smart. And he's got a huge cock. Yep, just like a <laughs> giant furry goat. <laughs> That I can't verify, but he does have some huge red roses. Yes, yeah, dying roses from last that week. We They're a little, Uh-oh. they're a little iffy. So we've got in there a dozen roses. I think that we need to narrow it down, probably to uh, how many do you think we should narrow it down to? Because we have to hand out some roses here today, and we have to make some hard decisions. Five. Five. Well, let me see how many contestants we have. Um, yeah, I think five's good, because we have about ten. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, we're going to have to narrow this down to five, Ian. <laughs> so, are you ready to play the H3 Bachelor? I gotta pee so bad. I don't. Do you want to take a break? I, I really, really don't. How do you talk without opening your mouth? Do you want to? I don't. I, I'm not a puppet. <laughs> not Jeff Dunham's doll. Do we have How some music to play while we do this? Uh... Because that's the same one you play. Don't we have like back, like dating music? Uh oh, no, di- we gotta call um, it off. No we went over this last week. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, guys, well, we got we gotta have what some is dating spi- music. To you? <laughs> we get we did we talked about this last week before we went live that we had queued up. Is that this your dating one? music? No, this is like, like porn, porn music, music. <laughs> good. Zach, we went over it last week. Didn't we find dating music? You never said to pull dating music. Mm. What? Mm. Well, what do we got? Oh my God! All we've Let me pull up. You guys, you, you guys keep experimenting with music back yeah. there. We're gonna pull up our first contestant here. So keep in mind, this is entirely their brainchild. I did not request this. This mm-hmm. is not. I'm not just like super horny, and I was like, guys, I gotta. It's that. not about horniness, Ian. Who it's about true that? Why love. Make it so weird. This yeah. is about. I'm just true love. saying. Are you single? I am, yeah. Are you ready to mingle? <laughs> as ready as I'll ever be. So I let suppose. me introduce you to Sarah. <laughs> okay? By the way, the goal here is to find your wife. This isn't just to find like a... Oh, we're going... A on. one night stand. How do I... First, oh, I'm not zero gonna, to a hundred. How do I yeah. do like... You watch The Bachelor? I don't. <laughs> By the way, dude, Bachelor in Paradise is on, and I'm going to go home and watch three hours of Bachelor in Paradise tonight. Bachelor Bachelor Nation. How do I full screen and then slide? I'm not, I don't know what I'm doing. You you know what you're doing. Is <laughs> Can it we this? get a, no. uh, come There's on. a PowerPoint tutorial? Presentation. You have to button. click yeah. present right. at the top. <laughs> and then and how do I go to the next and slide? And then space? Like space? R- right key. Right key. Oh, that's that's self explanatory. Okay. okay. So for your consideration, okay. we have Sarah. Okay. <laughs> Hi, Sarah. Appreciate you coming out. That is me, she says. XO. Here we go. Sarah is age 18 and a half. Now, how old are you, Ian? Is that within your acceptable age? I'm 25. You are? Mm. Yes. Is that You're... good or bad? I can't Wait, tell. Wait, I thought you were acting. younger than that. He was when he started. Here. I've been aging. We've been working together for a long time. <laughs> time has been moving <laughs> while well, I've been because here. I feel like there's a big difference between 23, which is when I first met you, right? Yeah. Yeah. 25. Well, regardless, she's 18 and a half. She's five so three. So is that a little bit under the? Well, I think seventeen off? would be too young. Let's say that. <laughs> well, I don't think that's fair. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, look, look. She's a sophomore. In college. Basically a sophomore. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm not sure. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> she's a, she's in college. She's not in high school, right? I mean, that's 
That's I mean, unacceptable. It's close. Well, it's freshman, I'm guessing. Basically, a sophomore is freshman. I'm her dream job is to be a medical examiner, has a rainbow tattoo, and her hobbies include arts and crafts. She enjoys watching bad movies. Hmm. Oh, I like the little picture there. That's fun. Pros <laughs> of dating me. Doesn't expect anything besides love. Hmm. Will listen to you and respond back to you. Just the right height. No bucket required. So she's deep on the meme. Do you know what that? Have you yes. heard? Yeah. yeah. Just that's the right a deep height. One. No bucket required. That's a de that's a deep one right yeah, there. So she's a fan. I appreciate this next one. This is good. <laughs> we'll never make you listen to Little Nas X. Is baby faced like Belle Delphine? Now is that? I don't know if that's a. Were you into Belle Delphine? I said I pulled back. Yeah, you on pulled the Belle back Delphine. on that one. But she made a risk. She made a risk here. She said, "I'm baby faced." Can be the Misa to your light. No, I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. Mm, that one missed. <laughs> Sorry, Sarah. She took a swing on that one, but Okay. Cons of dating me. Texan. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. That's literally the only con. <laughs> is that a con? <laughs> well, because she's not local. I uh, assume okay. that's the con. It is a distance. That is okay. a distance. <laughs> Pian. <laughs> and you lost me. Bye, Sarah. <laughs> Thank so you for playing. I I'm would never call so you that bad. or quote that soundbite. <laughs> you see, she kind of did like, that's how you would do it. <laughs> that's not how I'd do it. I'd never. You wouldn't even bring it up. Never. I respect everyone's bladder size. I got a piece so bad. Well, here she's got a bust of yours truly. And I don't mean OJ Simpson. That's yours truly. <laughs> <laughs> PowerPoint segments are the best. Both love Kanye. You is cute. Ethan, let me hit. I like that. That's your choice. You've yeah. What it. happened to me? <laughs> <laughs> I'm that. I'm the. I'm Where's the, the feminism here? Date ideas. Sharkies. Don't make me go there. Not sharkies. <laughs> so there you have you, Sarah. I mean, I, I. This is a lot of work. I appreciate a good PowerPoint. How do you rate her slides? Her slides are good. There's just uh. I there thought there were not enough transitions. No transitions. There's a serious there's lack obstacles. of big lack of comic stands. The font, right? Mm. Not Which a lot is, of color. You mm, I do. Let's not. Color. I mean, but uh, yeah, I on. think this is a lot of work put in. I really mm -hmm. appreciate it. There's some good stuff in here. Do you want to make a a call on this now? Is she gonna get a roll? I mean, let's wait. I mean, I want to give everyone. Yeah, prizes. we should review. Oh no, well that I can't yeah. do that. No, yeah, but so I gotta. Do you have a? Do you know if you want to give her a rose or do you want to wait? I I mean let's let's see a couple and okay. So that's Sarah. Okay. So wait, how many do you have in there? We have a lot of them. So buckle <laughs> in. More than five, that's for sure. So here we go. Um, let's present. Now, if there's one that really catches your eye, you, I think you should present the rose on the spot. Yeah. Okay. So hi, Ian. Ready. Please choose me. I think I'm a catch. I like the colors all. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, why did it? You say transitions matter. That was spicy. That was My name powerful. is Jesse, 21 years old, single and ready to mingle. This is yes. sad. She's oh, ready, ready to jingle. jingle. Sorry, yeah. We could buy new roses. It's no, within I the think, budget. I think these look better because they're <laughs> okay. wilted like his heart. Yes. Uh, exactly. Now, every I don't want anyone to miss this. Okay. Okay. Whoa. Yeah. We have things in common. I love like, the horse stretched out. We <laughs> need water to drink. True. Is all these going to relate to me having to go to the bathroom? Spending <laughs> big money on pop culture. <laughs> Great music taste. Great aspect ratio. That's Great music taste. You said it twice. <laughs> 666 Old Town Road. There's a little Heaven's Gate action. Down yeah. this over Colts and the Oculet. Oh, Colts. So, yeah. Be good to your mother, capiche? <laughs> <laughs> This is a powerful PowerPoint. Finn, Finn. <laughs> I really need to pee right now. <laughs> I guess that is true. Confirm my suspicion. <laughs> so bad. So that's one. That's the. Um, what do you think about her? What was her? her name? She was a. Uh, Go back. Yeah. This this was Jesse. Jesse. So we've got Sarah and Jesse. No roses handed out yet, but we we'll, we may circle back. I'm admiring these PowerPoints. It's a lot to take in. I hear you. We did pick the best for you. Some didn't prepare anything. We had a lot that we narrowed it down for you. Mm. Um, yeah. <laughs> so here we go. Now, now this is just a PDF, but uh, that's fine. So here, um, why you should pick me for a date. A power presentation from yours truly. What up, Twitter world? 
Team Rocket doing a dab as well. Mm. PowerPoint presentation loads a PDF. Oh, that's true. Oh, is that neg- that docks some points? Mm. Damn. So I may not have Yeezys on my feet, but this <laughs> does not mean defeat. Ian, your PowerPoints <laughs> always exceed expectation, which only contribute to my infatuation. <laughs> I appreciate that. <laughs> nice. So tell me about yourself. I hear you say in a sexy voice, <laughs> sexily. Oh, <laughs> well, I guess I'm no one special, I say and blush, rearranging my prairie dress to cover myself up. As I'm not a depraved harlot, I giggle like an absolute fucking moron and climax on the spot. Whoa. That's a little fanfic. Not oh, yeah. safe for work here. Uh, Sonic was once lost, but now he is found in Ian McPodcast. Blessed is... Anyone reading this is like, what am I hearing? <laughs> <laughs> it's a meme. <laughs> I'm 21 years old, 5 foot 5, and I weigh 110 pounds. I wipe from the back. Wait. Yeah, that's the right way to do it, right? No, we d- we're front. No, but for a female... For a female, you have to. <laughs> yeah, you, you have to wipe. Because you want to wipe away from the vag. <laughs> I want solidarity with you. Want you're looking for a front, a front wiping female. (laughs) (laughs) In this case, a viral, vital requirement for a judge of character. I'm deeply interested in movies. Here are my current favorites: Ghost in Shell, Sunshine, The Help, Kamikaze Girls, Dead Poet Society, Legally Blonde, Harry Potter, Schindler's List. War of the Worlds is Dan and I just watched that the other day. It's good stuff. Really, I thought it was ass. (laughs) Tom Cruise. You don't like Tom? No, Tommy? but it was a weird one. Cause that's I, great. Okay, sorry, I take it back. You do like Tom Cruise? I like Tom Cruise. I just don't like that movie. Mm. Mm. But I do think I do think that Schindler's List should be at the top of everyone's <laughs> favorite. Right next to Harry Potter. I watch this every weekend. <laughs> um, do you like cats? Well, I got two. Want to pet them? That's good. That's, That's a sweet. big. I like bonus. this meme. <laughs> so I don't actually have two cats, but I fuck with this meme heavy. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I like cats, especially uh, scrungy ones. In the slide, I will exhibit some examples. So she's a cat admirer from afar. Yes. Mm-hmm. My hobbies are drawing and making 3D models. Here are some of the stuff I make. I study video game development in uni, so you can say Trump nay nayed on us hard after his whole video games cause violence. But I digress. I can also appreciate some nice fashion. I mean, check out these dope slides, bruh. Hmm. I may not have a belly button lint jar or <laughs> rad soaping moves like Ryan Jones miss, but I can guarantee you I am just the right height, no bucket required. Wow, another deep another cut. One. Wow, yeah. That's the And here she said hot. I with, like that little yeah. edit there. That's nice. So Ian, um You know what? I've been holding out. Uh, there's a lot going on. I'll throw a rose. Wow! Uh, first rose is awarded here. You have to present it to me. What's her name? Wait, hold on. Hold on to that rose. Her name is, uh... Wait, go up more now. Wait, when did she say her name? She just said yours truly. <laughs> Do we it. have a name? Do we have no name? What about the very end? Does it say there? I think it's in the dock. Like oh. where you got this link from. Oh. It just says date for the lovely Ian. <laughs> We don't have a name. Wow. That's Mystery funny. Mystery girl. Can I give a rose still, or is that Yeah, you can canceled? give a yeah. rose. We'll call her the, um, what do we call her? Cat girl? No, that's no good. Um, call her ju- j- just the right height, no buck or require girl. <laughs> but there was another one, so. Well, call her dabbing uh, uh, Pokemon. Okay. Whatever. Dabbing Pokemon, so you present the rose like it's me. Hello. What it was? Well, I haven't seen the show. How did they, how did they do it? So, Would you, will you accept this rose? You have to say Ethan, and you need to smile at him, and you need to be like kind of teary, like you're almost in tears. Mm-hmm. Basically, and... me all the time. <laughs> and you need to say, "Will you accept this rose?" Dabbing. Uh, James from Pokemon, will you accept this rose? It would be my great pleasure. That was. <laughs> That was a powerful moment. <laughs> okay, so we have one rose for that. <laughs> now, you don't have to award all five, Ian, so let's just keep it to the ones that really interest you, okay? I mean, come on. So, congratulations to Dabbing. I feel special when you handed me that rose. <laughs> I could tell. I felt uh, the move- spark. So, let's see. Uh, let's have a look at the next contestant. I want to get with P-Boy. Nope. 
The Bachelor with H3. <laughs> I wonder if Zoe, at least we got a name. Zoe. No? Zoe, yeah, thank you. Eli. What if she was down for you to pee on her? Would you ever pee on a girl? I have no interest in urine. I gotta pee. pee so I bad. don't have to pee. I think you would pee on a girl if the moment was right. I would not. <laughs> okay, Have well, you here... ever peed on anybody? Myself. <laughs> Accidentally. <laughs> Yeah. But if a girl in the heat of the moment was like, I want you to pee on me, I probably would. What about you if she would? wanted to pee on you? I wouldn't ask for that, probably. Mm. I mean, if a girl was like, if that was her thing, if that was her kink, and it was like a spicy moment, and she said pee on, not on the bed, obviously, like maybe in the shower or something. Wow. I'm just I'm delivering her request though. Oh, we're learning she <laughs> want we're if she wants me to pee wow. on her, I'll do it. Hila, if you want me to do something weird, I'll hook you up. I don't. Uh, well then then we got no problem. <laughs> <laughs> but apparently the option's been there, so Well this yeah. girl might be into it is my only point. Okay, she's twenty two years old. I like Ian, I think he's super cute and funny. I've had a big crush on him for a while now. How does that make you feel? Special. <laughs> Plus, I think we have a very similar taste in music. His talent for PowerPoints inspired me to make this. I have a BA in psychology and a minor in biology. Wow. Huh? My focus was neuroscience. Ian, are you hearing this shit? Mm, yeah. So if he's at all interested in that, I could tutor him. I would get up at 5 a.m. for any Coachella Kanye Church S concert for Ian. I also don't smell my period blood. Hmm. Well, that's a good detail. Okay. We also, there's that. a. I like the layout of this slideshow. I don't yeah, think I too. could make a slideshow like she, this. She, yeah, gr I mean, the layout is very. It actually looks good. <laughs> I yeah, thought that nice. she was gonna be like a graphic designer based on the layout, but she's not. Okay, well, I have an issue here. She says hobbies and likes. The first one is the H3H3 H3 podcast, but as we all know, that's actually not the name of the show. It's the H3 podcast. Mm -hmm. So that yeah. undermines her point a little bit. But we'll, I'll, over, I'll overlook that. Uh, other hobbies. Anime. Shon what is Shonen, specifically? I've seen that name. Never Anyone back there? It. Can you clarify that, Dan? Uh, I think Shonen is like uh, the ongoing series type of thing, like Bleach would be a shounen yeah. anime. Okay, good. I like that. Playing the harp. Oh. Oh. Interesting. That's Lord of cool. the Rings. I like Gaming. That. She's a huge Nintendo fangirl. Conducting EEGs on willing participants. That's good. Isn't that Is like that heart? Isn't yes. that like a heart monitor? Yes. That's Isn't fun. Isn't that EKG? Yeah, what is it? EEG? Someone look that up, would you? Listening to Charlie XCX. Any? Do you know what that is? Yeah, I've, uh, I've, I've seen her three times. She's a singer. So you're a big fan? Yeah. And it's quite underground. Have you ever said that on the show? It's on my Instagram, so uh, she may be so doing she a, little, may have done. a little deep dive. And but, sorry, sorry. Go ahead. Uh, an EEG is to monitor like brain waves and activity. That's and you probably cool. do need that. I could use that. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently trying to learn how to embroider. Ian is just <laughs> I like that one. <laughs> I can do a French inhale with my vape. Oh. Is that good? Dan, is that good? That's when you go and breathe it in your nose. Right. Yep. Mm. Dislikes. Ghouls. I mean, I don't... Yeah. What is a ghoul? It's like a, uh, a zombie-esque... <laughs> that's, a, that's a reference to a TV show. What's the TV show? It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Oh, okay. That flew over my head. I'm really? sorry. I do like that show, but apparently not as much as her. Yeah. <laughs> Honorable mentions, I have a cute cat. Now, she a real has, cat. That's yeah. a real one. Contact... Oh, shit! Did I show oh, her contact info? Okay. Wait, hold on. Let me. I, I I censored it. Oh, thank you. Thank God. Okay, good. So I'll bring it back. <laughs> oh, she's wearing a Kira shirt. She's very hip. Very cool. Very hip. Address, hopefully, in Ian's heart. Instagram. This is for you. So, Ian, what do you think? I like. Uh, there's a lot uh, a lot to like here, I gotta say. Her name is Zoe. Would you like to present a rose to sure, Zoe? Sure, I'll give Zoe a rose. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, go ahead, Ian. Do we have, like, any music for this? Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. You guys are blowing this beautiful moment. I said, have dating music ready. All they've got is my P soundbite. That's all. Humiliate. I don't ask much from you guys. I said, have dating music ready. I need, Rose, I need Rose ceremony music at least. Zach, you got another? What about... I'm looking, I'm looking. Still? I mean, come on, you I know. you would yeah. not give Zach a rose. Dude. Think about what you'll say. I mean, you know. Yes. <laughs> Here's this one. Well, this is not right. I mean, this is like, <laughs> like church. Halo. Yeah. This is like I'm getting uh, <laughs> baptized. 
Is this Zach or you? No. This is me. Zach, this isn't... <laughs> come on, this isn't a boss fight here. It's a bachelor. <laughs> I swear, did we not last week, in preparation for this, pick dating music? You said to I don't know. pick, like, a theme song. Mm. All right. Get me some romantic, for Christ's sake, before I... Should we do this one and then... Before we the lose the moment. One? Here, I know how to, to make this moment perfect. Go ahead. Say something nice to Zoe. So Zoe. Uh, Zoe. Uh, will you take this? Have the rose? What? I couldn't say. I, I, I appreciate you. Well, at least say, will you accept this rose? Will you uh, take this, have this, accept this rose? With, pl- with all of my heart. Okay. I'll prepare next time. The subs were throwing me off. They're getting in my head. Yeah, they're quite distracting. Yeah. So we have one for Zoe. I agree about one that. For a mystery girl. Yes. Well, I think so. These applicants are coming in pretty strong, right? I mean, there's a lot. How many do you have left? Do you know? There's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> there's honestly a lot. <laughs> also, all of these ones that we're looking at are the the newest set, and I gotta say, people. Stepped up the game after you called them out last week, Ethan. Good. So. Yeah. I'm glad. This one's a little strange. The format is not high level. Oh, here. I have to present. That's why. My application for Ian the intern. <laughs> Yo, hey, uh, hit me with the uh, passport song, Zach. That's romantic. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, we have a video. Oh. Oh, what's up, H3 Podcast? I didn't see you there, but... While I have you here, let me tell you about why I think I'd be a good candidate for Ian the What do you think? Ian's... Whoa, 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 whoa. Ian's smiling. He's embarrassed (laughs) a little bit. Are you just impressed? I appreciate the effort. Yeah, I'm impressed. I was not expecting a video in here. Yeah, and a cut and everything, so this is pretty high level. So, naturally, I thought in true Ian fashion I would make a PowerPoint to describe myself, who I am, you know. Um, And I thought I'd preface it with a full video. Audio's a little fucked. (laughs) X PowerPoint. Great work, by the way. 10 out of 10, really enjoyed it. Thanks. So hopefully you can kind of tell that I'm not just doing this to pimp out my Instagram. Right. Um, I'm just trying to get a date with my favorite member of the H3 podcast. Well, no favorite member. Video. Okay, hang on. I, got I like that. this. I hold like on, hold this. On. I'm not, come on. I have a fragile ego here. Else, <laughs> just a big Ian fan. So if my PowerPoint isn't thorough enough or anything, just let me know. So Ian, I promise if we ever did go out, we would have a... <laughs> Slamming, good time. <laughs> I don't make any jokes like that. I promise. Now on to the PowerPoint. That was just the intro. <laughs> that was a strong, strong entry. That's an yeah. entrance right there. That was good. Whoa, holy smokes. Who am I? What's up? I'm Katie. I'm a senior at Boise State University studying GIS and it, French. It, I love the volunteer. Yeah, giz. Work. Yeah, oh, giz. Yeah, she's a giz major. Studying and making Ian jizz. <laughs> I love to volunteer well, with not. the Special Olympics, <laughs> Girls on the Run, and my local mobile library. She's a saint, in other words, as well. I'm a registered yoga teacher. I teach hot yoga and a bunch of different beginner level classes of all different styles. Wow. I like what? this uh, angel yoga <laughs> thing here. Is that just on the wall? Because it's so dramatic. I think so. <laughs> she doesn't have actually have angel wings. <laughs> that's what I'm asking. It. I fly planes. I'm working my way through different license and ratings to become a commercial pilot one day so I can fly you wherever you want. Wow. That's great. That's awesome. Mm. Um, I'm always down for cool things like skydiving, reenacting my favorite internet social experiments, hiking, boating, going hard at Coachella for Kanye, and so, so much more. She likes to have fun. Yes, fun is good. I like fun. Fun is fun. Fun is fun. Well said. I gotta say. But I'm still really chill. I often binge watch shows on Netflix in bed with tea. Some of my ideal nights are watching the H3 podcast with my dogs. Now, Ian, if you dated this girl, would you be able to watch back the H3 podcast with her? (laughs) She'll have to do that on her, you know. She'll have to catch up on her own, and you guys could talk about the podcast. I mean, that'd be great. Mm, Yeah. I'd probably have to excuse myself for those ones. Yeah. But (laughs) her dogs look awesome. Yes, cute dogs. Very cute. Pros of Katie. Uh, no apparent Illuminati connection. Hmm. Impeccable sense of humor. I agree. Also a fan <laughs> of Kanye. 
That's Hans good. lives in another state, but she's also a pilot. <laughs> I, she offers the <laughs> alternative there, so that's good. Cares too much. <laughs> Very funny. I don't know that that. I'm not sure she sold that as a con. I would enjoy a nice meal at Sharky's with you any day. I like the Photoshop. Jo- oh man! Thank you for viewing my PowerPoint. Her getting married to <laughs> Ian with Kanye officiating. <laughs> that's that's the dream right there. Well, you were getting short on roses. You only have three left. That's so. the thing is that that video was a lot of work. But here's what yeah. I'm going to tell you, Ian. You can go. Ba- you can recant on that's your roses. Rude. You can renege on your roses. That's rough. Okay, but I'm just saying you make the decision now. Well, I, off the video alone, I gotta give a roast. So, okay, uh, congratulations to Katie. But I'm, I, I don't want to jump the gun if there's, you know... There's... You can recant, but this is Katie's time, and so, uh, go ahead, Ian, you got some... Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Katie... Oh, God. <laughs> Every time. Huh. Uh, will you accept this rose? It would be my greatest honor and privilege to accept this rose from here today. Thank you. I love you. <laughs> oh. And I cannot wait for our night in the fantasy suite together. <laughs> oh, well, that's already, huh? Okay. <laughs> How do you know what's the best, sir? I d- it's not... For- Dude, you watch Big Brother and you can talk shit on Patrick. I wa- right? Big Brother takes too much time. Big Brother, I tried watching that show. It's fucking weird. Mm. I'm all judging you for watching Big Brother. And I watch, I'm going to watch three hours just of Bachelor. Got, it's so good. It's so Is good. Is it really? You just got to get the understanding of all the okay. mechanics. Now, let's not digress too hard so here. Bad. I hope the, let's see. So we are down here now. We've got it from Ashlyn. Ashlyn. Overall, this is fantastic. Yeah, this, this has been great. Agree. You're down to two roses. I think there's going to be a lot of jealous guys out there because you're getting a lot of good offers here. Two roses left. The incels at home are super pissed right now. <laughs> Ashlyn, <sighs> is this an original drawing on a resume? So this one's just a resume. I, I, I like the drawing. Her objective is to get some hot in ass. It's a good objective. I work for a YouTube channel. Hmm. Huh? Age hmm. 23. Likes video games, Norse myth- myth- mythology, cartoons, punchline rap. What the hell is that? <laughs> I think it's like jokey, like lines that are funny. Huh. Like Lil Wayne sometimes does stuff like that. I think. Okay. I may be wrong. She may be like, I changed my mind. Deeper than you. <laughs> I want to redact. Hmm. She dislikes sand. You know, I'm with you. I hate sand. I hate sand. Disney Here. live action remakes. Writing resumes, but I did this for you. <laughs> Boom. Mm. College educated at Texas A and M with a bachelor's of science and visualization. It seems like none of these people live in California. Yeah. Do any none of these of so far live in California? Which is probably a that's a bit of a negative, I'd have to say. It's a big time negative. We're gonna have to reach out and see I guess people here are too busy, huh? <laughs> Everyone in LA is like <laughs> I think some of these might live in LA. Let's not jump the gun. But we look, we have a budget here, Ian. We can make things happen. One of them is even a pilot. Mm. My family owns land in Texas, so you have a great safety net. Mm. Hmm. Rich family. Yeah, I can go mellow out on the. Huge fan of your land. PowerPoints. I have a cute kitten. His name is Ghost. And Love I can draw that. weird things for you. Cons, my drawing is a lie. I'm actually really bad at winking. <laughs> here she is. With There's the cat. The cat. I was I was wondering for the cat picture. But this really is it. Cute cat. So this is it. Yeah, that cat is amazing. That's a cute <laughs> cat. I was just saying to Dan, there is no ugly cat. We tried to find one. There isn't one. Okay, come on, give me a break. They are. They already like you, Ian. I mean, just you don't can't have, you don't have it. to it's pander. I'm not, <laughs> that was a real conversation we had. But you're down <laughs> to two roses. She's in Texas. I appreciate the work. Now I feel like an asshole not giving a rose out. I want to give everyone roses. It's a lot of work. She had to draw a thing. Well, yeah, that's how the show goes. So you have. You know? So this is a no for Ashlyn. We're we're. Gotta I'm make gonna hard hold on. I'm yeah. gonna hold on. Okay, Ashlyn, thank you for the effort. Thank you, Ashlyn. But that's a that's a hard no from Ian. <laughs> <That's not, laughs> it was a very very soft no. I would give all the roses out. So here's one. You know, this one, they didn't even include a picture, so this isn't going on too long, honestly. So let's let's cut to the chase. Another Ashlyn. Huh. Wow. 
Yeah, like I said, I mean, I think the quality is going to decline over time since we're going back in time here. I mean, this right. this is barely, this is not good enough, I feel like, <laughs> compared to what we've been saying. I'm sorry, Ashlyn. Well, I've never put together a resume that looked okay, like that. Okay, Ashlyn A. E- Ian's future care. <laughs> Jazz Hop, enthusiast, appreciator of film. Favorite Kanye album is Graduation and Late Registration. Do you approve you of those? That? Late Registration, is it? that's a good pick. Are those deep cuts or obvious picks? Late registration, I feel like, is a bit of a... That's that's the like th- a... Okay, I see. Real fan shit. <laughs> I see what vibe you're on. Hmm. Enjoys film, photography, and if hired as your care, will take portraits and be your personal hype beast. That's cool. Um, knows how to those. play automonotone, theremins, cello, slightly above average when it comes to Magic the Gathering. Can't play any sports, but pretty good at Chinese chess. Knows how to use PowerPoint. Well, why didn't you make a PowerPoint then? Because <laughs> it's like a tease. Mm. Like, you know, I could make one. Down you know, the line. Where, do, where does she live? Is she, she's in San Diego. Oh, well, there. Hey, you want one of these? <laughs> <laughs> how many How many more do we have? Let's see. He, there's one, two, tired. three. Oh, God, there's too many of these. Oh, my God, there's so many more. <laughs> Let's That's do quickly like two we, more. We can cap it if you. Okay, hang on. Some good options. Oh, okay. Here. Let's give him all the options and then he can choose. Okay, so here's this is Ashlyn. Okay. You want to give me a rose because there's a lot more and you only have one left. Well, here I'm gonna. I'll remember Ashlyn. Yeah. I remember. It's in my head. Name. Let's go. I have to pee so bad, and I'm not saying that to make fun of Ian. So bad. <laughs> um. Here, let me hit, let me do you some help here. So this one. I'm gonna see where they live. Like, if th- like this girl said she's in England, so. Oh. Across the pond. This one's just pictures. But hey, we used to live across. That's true. The word. That's true. But so this one, she says, I have attached my resume, but I don't see a resume. Yeah, this girl doesn't have a resume. Sorry. Twenty-five-year-old photographer. I like Kanye before it was cool. I don't know when that was. Dating yeah, application for one. Ian. Lean mean meme machine. Let's see what we got here. Here. This is a great one. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> Jess. Jess. I'm 19, applying for the position of Ian's. Uh, wait, friend. Sorry, did you uh, get the memo on this? We're not looking for friendship. Friend? She lives in Australia. We can be friends. There you go. We're friends. Okay, we're friends. Sorry. We're friends. I mean, she put a lot of work into this. I'm friends with... All of you. But, uh, we really, the segment's gone on way too long, so, apologies. 22-year-old Eastern Europe? I mean, come on, what are we doing with this? Oh, this is a dude. Are you interested? <laughs> He's got braces, that's, uh, that's cool. He's, so, yeah, we would, we would look more into this, but, uh, Renee, here's my resume, let's see. And I haven't seen any of oh, these beforehand. Oh my goodness, beforehand. look at this, Ian. Hi, Renee. What do we got here? Harry Potter World. That's nearby. Look on, at this. She's uh. Wow. Got a. a where? When do you ever wear a gown like this, Hila? I have no idea. Did I mean, to dinner with the beast. I'd like to <laughs> find out. <laughs> Beauty and the Beast. She, let's see. Let me read about her. She's a 21-year-old flight attendant. Put it on the. Fan of Kanye. Well, it's the whole. Oh. She just wrote it. Okay. Uh, oh. I'm not part of any secret forum. I'm a national pageant title holder. And came mm. top five in the world. Mm. The PowerPoints are amazing. Keep it up. My favorite movies is anything Bollywood. Just kidding. It's Harry Potter. <laughs> I love food. And I aim to constantly eat healthy so I don't have to keep holding interventions for myself. I love to make people laugh. But often at my expense. All my Instagram captions are puns, which is probably why my Instagram model career has not blossomed. Oh, I'm Australian. Australian. But she wouldn't mind doing a 90-day a uh, fiancé visa. <laughs> oh, well, there you go. Can you imagine if we had our own <laughs> fiance season with Ian? Well, I think that there is some interest, but um, unfortunately, you are in Australia. International. Well, let's let Ian decide. Well, that you pretty, you know. Yeah, I mean, I'm trying to move it along here. Yeah, no, do your thing. Do do what you got to do. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. You know. I would give a rose. It's just if so she was in away. L.A., I'd give a rose right now. Yeah, I give you the bouquet. No. <laughs> okay, girl. Damn. So Melissa and she's animated you guys making out. 
Wow. That's not He's also in Australia. Work. Dude, you're huge in Australia. I got to get to uh, Australia. You got to get there quick. Sorry, you're in Australia. We got it. That's a pass from us. We got we just We're moving on. Yeah, it's way longer than I expected. Apologies to everyone here. Uh I may have to retroactively then go back give a rose to the See, now they're second choice. They're not interested anymore. <laughs> to uh the last PowerPoint. Um this one is boring. Oh, well, that's it. That's it. That's all. So Ashlyn gets rose. Kept okay. her. Well, yeah, we did so, want to see okay. the option. So play me the. Yeah. So go ahead, make your proposal. Sup, Ashlyn? Will you take this rose? Will you have this rose? Will you accept? This Seeing as you pass me over, don't in consideration of other people, please don't do this. I will not accept this rose from you. If you don't what? I will, I'm refusing the rose You're because refusing? I'm plan B and I'm not, no one's plan B. I said I want to, I will come back and remember the name. No plan B. You did say that. Okay, in consideration of the fact that you did say that, then I will with all my heart and all the love in my body and soul accept this rose from you. Thank you. I appreciate it. I appreciate your cooperation. And then you have one spare rose. Was there anyone else on your mind? Uh, there was the first girl or somewhere that we... Uh, I'll give it to um, uh, the uh, resume, right? Is that... Um... I think it was the Texas girl. Right. The, there was this PowerPoint here that I think we... Oh, with the aspect ratios and the... Yeah, this one. Oh, and the swinging. One. Okay, yeah. Jesse can have a rose. Yes, I will give Jesse a rose. So, go ahead. <laughs> Sup, Jesse. Will you accept this rose? Ian, I was frankly insulted yes. that you passed me over as the first one of the first PowerPoints to appear. I understand. And um, any self-respecting woman at this point would not accept this rose, and so I must decline. Just you don't want it. I do not want the rose. So I just keep the rose. Oh, is what I would say. <laughs> Wasn't expecting rejection of this segment. <laughs> but I will I will accept in consideration of how sweet and kind and cool you are. Mm. I will accept this rose on behalf of uh Jesse. Jesse. Yes, Jesse. Yes. Well that's there you go. Thank you. So we have five roses for five terrific girls. Wow. Well, those we're roses are looking a little rough. We're gonna have to <laughs> we're not gonna buy new ones either. They're just nope. gonna continue to welt. <laughs> so we have five beautiful roses for five beautiful girls here at the H three Bachelor in Paradise featuring so now, Indian. Do we keep accepting more or how do we continue from here? Well I think this is season one. <laughs> we're in. The contestants are in. So we're going to have to reach out to them. Mm -hmm. Dan's going to have to reach out. We're going to have to find out a little bit more, like, where do they live? We're going to have to devise other ways to kind of to separate themselves mm -hmm. from the crowd. Okay. Mm. Maybe a video in. I think that one girl made a video, but maybe they could tell us a little about themselves. <clears throat> um, and then we're going to have to... We're gonna have to pick a winner. Okay. What is what is the end goal here? Is the d d I go on a date? Is that that's the goal? Yeah. Okay. Well, marriage is the goal, to be frank. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. That. <laughs> okay. Um. So we're gonna have to call. I think we'll have to do another round and call it down to two mm -hmm. or three, mm -hmm. and then a final round where you pick. Oh. Your match. Okay. All right. This yeah. is spicy. Yeah, I'm telling you. <laughs> So thank you to these three beautiful, thank wonderful you for girls. All you're all you guys, so beautiful. Really. You're all so inventive and wonderful. I think you're fantastic, and I'm sorry that Ian, in his heartless and carelessness, <laughs> did reject some of you. I did not. I, if it was up to me, I would have given everyone a rose. <laughs> I would have okay. given all of these out. We've got enough dead <laughs> roses to pass out. All right, take these, take these and get the hell out of here. Mm -hmm. That's got to make you feel good, right? I feel the opposite of good right now after that pizza. <laughs> Really? I feel really bad. Yeah, I don't feel good. I don't feel good about what I did. Mm -mm. How many I, did you eat? I had all the all four. You finished each slice? Yeah. Really? That's my guy. Okay. Well, to be an objective, you know, reviewer, okay. you got to eat the whole slice. That's what I'm saying. And thank you very much. I'll take those. <laughs> These are the roses from the original. <laughs> you can see that they're still lush and beautiful, just like Ian's love. You're listening <laughs> to sound these make. 
<laughs> Where'd you, did you just put that gun under the table? No, I put it on a piece of... <laughs> what do you think? What do you take me for? <laughs> I was about to fucking... I got a piece so bad. <laughs> I was about to sit you on the Gatsby and send you out the window, dude. I'd love to be on the Gatsby. <laughs> <clears throat> um, started with 100, narrowed it down to 15, narrowed it down to 5, now these five have submitted for our viewing pleasure uh, video responses to pre-written questions that Ian has posed for his future wife. Let me read some of these questions as they come up. Best Kanye album to bring on a deserted island. Mm. That was that was number mm. one. Mm -hmm. Who is the number one Spider-Man and why? You're mm -hmm. referring to actor, I'm assuming. Yeah. Yeah. You got invited to a potluck. It's an acquaintance you met one time at a bowling alley for a mutual friend. The acquaintance says the potluck will be a modest gathering for about 10 to 15 people, and they're making burgers. They work in finance and have a nice three-bedroom condominium with their fiancé, Alice, and their roommate, Mark. Why do they have a roommate if they're in... Good question. If they're in finance. You said they have a... I didn't say they're good at finance. Hold on. Let me back up here. You <laughs> said they work in finance and have a nice three-bedroom condominium, but they have a roommate, Mark? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm right. just stating what's happening in the situation. Yeah, I mean, you didn't... Right. Exactly. Okay, that's strange that they do that, but that's what it is. Mark is a vegan. They have one cat named Marcus. The potluck is a 45-minute drive from your house. You are asked to bring a dessert. What do you bring? Let me think about this. <clears throat> mm -hmm. It's an acquaintance you met one time at a bowling alley from a mutual friend. And you're driving 45 minutes to a potluck? I'm not going to this potluck. Is that an acceptable answer? That is an answer. If they're like, I'm not fucking bringing anything because I'm not going to this mm -hmm. party. Would you find that a good answer or a bad answer? I could see why that would be a good answer, yeah. Interesting. Yeah. That's a trick question. Yeah. Potentially. Something to consider, yeah. yeah. Pizza time. Who do you order from and what do you get? <laughs> well, I'll be listening closely to that answer yeah. myself. Uh, <laughs> you're with someone who needs to go to the restroom. Do you A, ridicule them, B, shame them? Those are kind of the Those same thing. Those are kind thing. of the same. No, I, I think I can so make them. bad. What's the difference between ridicule and shame? Like what Zach just did is ridicule. What did he say? I got a piece. Oh, that. So that. Okay. That is ridicule. Okay, and shame? Shame is, you've got to go again. Okay. Why, don't, okay. why do you keep going? Knock it up. I see. Okay, Thank you. interesting. Well, you, 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 um, <laughs> I'm not playing chess. I'm just trying to get into the mind of Ian. Like, how many people... because you're playing chessers. I've been playing chess. I've been playing checkers for years. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Uh, politely allow them to excuse themselves in peace like any normal, decent human being, so that may- I mean, yeah, yada, 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 yada. Yes. You yada, yada, that would be shame? Ridicule. <laughs> that would be ridicule. Mm, okay. Yeah. Because that's the- I mean, it's a- it's a softball question. Mm. Mm hmm Maybe they say ridicule. We'll find out, won't we? Let me read the whole thing. Uh, please allow them to excuse themselves in peace like a normal, decent human being so that they may relieve themselves without the shame over the fact that they may go slightly more often. Do you pee a lot? Is that what this is about? I don't think I do. Then why is this such a big part of your life? That people are ridiculing and constantly shaming you? I wonder. I'm not quite sure. I pee so bad. Why would that be? <laughs> Interesting. Um, other than people because they consume large amounts of water or not just a can of soda pop a day and give them the common courtesy of doing what every person on the planet does multiple times daily without any sort of spectacle or fuss. Hmm. Strange, strange question, but <laughs> it's your, it's your show. Interesting answer. Okay, let's see what they say. Let's pull it up. I haven't seen any of these. Me neither. This is exciting. <laughs> so here we go. Wow. Fantastic. Did you edit this yourself? No, I did not. That would be, <laughs> that would be a little weird. <laughs> yeah, this is beautiful. I'm, I'm in love. I think this is Dan's work. Best Connie album to bring on a deserted island. There we go. Uh, if I was stuck on a Renee. deserted island, the Kanye album that I would bring Raina, is either... I Raina, It would either have to be, I think, the college dropout or... My beautiful dark twisted fantasy. Uh, I'm not too sure which one I'd go for. It will depend on what day I'm getting stranded, what vibes I'm feeling. Just getting into Thoughts? it, my first answer That's is great. actually different from what my favorite. What? How do you know that she didn't just name random albums? Because she seemed torn. 
Mm. Anyone who gives me one answer, that's a little iffy. Mm. Because there is no true answer. That did seem genuine. Mm -hmm. She seemed not, and it's... Raina, is that what her name? Mm -hmm. Okay, I like it. Ashlyn. The Kanye album is, like I said, my favorite is Late Registration. But I think I'd actually pick my beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy to bring oh, to a deserted island that with is me. Also good. Just because it has a lot of variety and the artists featured in it. It's Whoa, like that's a Tony Bear, Rick Ross, mm. John Legend, to you know, Jay Z, what else? Uh, Pusha T, Dude, Kid Cudi, Rihanna, she's a fan. Nicki Minaj. So I think I'd go with that one just because there's a lot of different sounds in it and a lot of different voices. Wow, that was a f Oof, that was a that transition, dude. That was a legit. <laughs> that girl's a fan of Kanye. I respect that answer. Yeah, that's a good answer. She did her homework. Now, would you tell us if there is a bad answer, or are you gonna be polite? Well, because there for this question, there is no bad answer. But mm -hmm. what, what what we're looking at? There's some that are better. Okay, yeah. that's a good. Re she knew all the people on that album. That was real shit. And I my. Late Registration may be my favorite album, mm. but I would probably pick the same one. Mm. Whoa! So, <laughs> because of the variation. The variation okay. is important. Uh -huh. But we'll see. That was know? a smart answer. Jesse, what does she have to say? Kanye's album to bring on a deserted island um, has to be Kid See Ghost, because here's a fun fact about me. I've only listened to what eight songs in my entire life, and seven of them are... On Kids Did she say she's wait? She only she, listened to eight songs. Eight in, songs in her whole life. What the fuck? But what? What, what is the eighth song? Where was she raised? Like, did she grow up? Where did, what? <laughs> I, I don't know. That's a strange thing. <laughs> that she doesn't. I don't see any evidence of like a joke. Yeah. Let me let me go back. The editing is all hers, by the way, not Dan's. For the record. Mm -hmm. Where the fuck's the mouse? Can we, can, I can't find the it's, goddamn it's mouse. Right right there. There. But it's not moving, you guys. Oh. Northeast side. It's not moving. Dan. Is it lagging? Oh, no. We got mouse. The mouse doesn't work. Look at what I'm doing. I'm trying. Okay, here. It's back. I've been to eight songs in my entire life, and seven of them are on Kids Sea Coast. So we need more context. Did you what does that mean? I really want to know what the eighth song is. Yeah. <laughs> I want to know why. <laughs> How do you avoid hearing other songs your whole life? That's that. You can't. Uh, no, I, I, I was also very confused by this when when I was editing all of this. The only thing I could think of is maybe because you can tell English is not her first language. Maybe she just meant she's only heard eight yes. Kanye That's my songs. My answer. It makes me think. Of mm. 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 That must be. Honestly. How can you not hear me? Honestly, I'm <laughs> so sorry <laughs> <laughs> Okay, um, my... Uh, hello, someone's leaning over. Um, Thoughts on the Katie, cleavage? Katie, have you heard of <laughs> a chair? <laughs> what do you he think doesn't have a chair on hand, you know? There's but a then, bed right there. What about framing it at head level so you don't this have to is... lean over and look what a low cut... Top. Maybe her back is hurting her. Do you Who like knows? the cleavage? Is that a good point or a bad point for you, Ian? I was I like the god hands up in the back wall. I, that's what that's you noticed. What first? I noticed first. Uh -huh. yeah. This is how I record I when I do daily vlogs and, and I, I don't bullshit. Know. Desert Island Kanye album. Ian, is we're gonna need honesty. Yeah, I you just, know what? Let's I, cut the shit. I gotta say, I don't want to be this if, nice. Thank you. Go ahead, Eva. If we want this to be interesting, yes. there's gonna need to be some realness here. I'm being I'm real. Just, no, stick. you're not. It's shtick. I got a piece so bad. It's shtick with this. You whole... see how I'm how about... fat shaming Ethan? That's real. How about that I, is real? How about you guys compile a bunch of sound bites? I'll leave my mouth closed, and then you could add in what you'd like wow. me to say. Like, well, that is how it feels almost, the... Ian, because <laughs> you're not being real with that. Oh man, Ian, <laughs> did you not notice her cleavage first? Don't and just talk if you you need to tell me the truth and the only true answer is yes So just say yes to me. if you had the eyeball trackers <laughs> Painting okay That's bullshit fucking, You're a liar, bro. Why do you have the front? I know you the don't truth. have the front to kick it I know and I'm more vulnerable because I feel bad off pizza. I'm being real <laughs> Dude. Okay now that you've seen her cleavage. Have you I think seen she's her a very cleavage? what? The, have you do you see that she's leaning what over? What are you referring to? Again, this is a problem. I'm gonna kick him out. I'm Am I about to right get now. divorced with work divorced? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I have more papers on the way. No explanation needed. That's. I didn't hear choice. what she said. Yeah, let's go. Yeah. Back. Here. Okay. Um, my dessert. Hold on. Hold on. Island... <laughs> I can't. 
can't zoom. What if you do you want to try the mouse? I I have the mouse. I'm just trying to. Oh, you have one? Yeah. No, I mean like actual. Dan, could, how do I zoom on our cleavage? I <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, I don't know, man. <laughs> Win windows and. Because uh... usually I can zoom on this one. In a browser, but. Oh mm. yeah. Yeah, it's in a browser. All right, well. <laughs> we got the idea. The yeah. album yeah. is obviously 808s and Heartbreak. No explanation needed. That's the obvious choice, so. What do you think Which about one? that? 808 Heartbreak? 808s and Heartbreak. She said no explanation needed. Do you agree? I mean, I don't need an explanation, but I I get it. <laughs> See, that one's a little, that's, that's his saddest album. And if mm -hmm. I'm on a desert island, I'm already probably pretty you depressed. Yeah, you don't need that. So it's compiling on. So it's a bad answer. <laughs> she didn't think about it. But the album is really good. I will like it. But overall for the deserted island, I don't know. It's okay, a little bad more. answer. Let me put, let me say what. You can translate for me. Yeah, bad. Another, thank you. I'll be your translator. In other words, bad fucking answer. Mm -hmm. Nice tits though, right, Ian? You, I didn't. Tra your translator is off a little bit on that one. I think. All right. What do we got here? Laura. First question: Best Kanye album to bring on a deserted island? I'd say the unreleased Yandi. I'm not a big Kanye fan, Ooh. but I have a friend who listens oh. to a lot of Kanye, and he wants to put that on, and I thought it was great. A male For friend? something unreleased, like it has a lot of good collabs. I got a piece so bad. Thoughts? <laughs> <clears throat> well, she's referring to uh, leaked illegal content, which we I do upon. not condone. And that is frowned upon, right? Yes, yeah. yes. So she pretty much she pretty much did everything wrong. She said, "I'm not a Kanye fan," mm -hmm. and she referred to a, an unreleased album. Yes. Wow. But do you expect your future girlfriend slash wife wife to be? A Kanye fan for sure. No. Look so, at Ian. How is he ever gonna date a non Kanye fan? The guy. Because I lives feel and like Kanye. I feel like at least she was being true and not acting. And like Jordan with Kanye. the other girls, you don't know. I mean, you could you could open Wikipedia and mm -hmm. say, well, this one has a lot of collabs. That's true. Just saying. Kind of a bold choice to just straight up be like, not a fan. Yeah. I respect that. Okay. I think that's true. Okay. Who's the number one Spider-Man and why? We skip some of these questions. We've got I mean, what? two minutes in, there's nine minutes. Toby McGuire there, was why are you in such a movie? <laughs> I'm just to, it, we're dealing with your future <laughs> wife and you're telling me to hurry up? I don't understand this guy. I seriously I don't get it. What are we what are we doing here? I don't know. I'm trying to find you true love and you're telling me to skip questions. Can I hold the roses? You sure you can the hold roses. the roses? But be careful, they're really brittle. <laughs> <laughs> they've been in the they've been in the fridge for like a month. Oh man, these are like fossilized. Oh boy. <laughs> you only get to give out two. You understand? <laughs> okay, got it. We can continue. Alright. Who are you giving me a rose? No, I'm just separating the roses to give okay, later. Well, well it hurry, makes a lot it of makes noise. a lot of noise. So. Okay, I'll stop. I'll yeah, stop. Yeah. Alright, Re uh Renee. Who's the number one? Reina. 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 <laughs> Challenging name. Probably just for me. I wanted to be Mary Jane with the red hair. That mm. was my idol. She Love was it. my idol. And really, you can't beat an original. But Tom Holland just, like, killed it. He, I think, fits the character perfectly. Tom, Holland? <laughs> the new Tom guy. Holland sort of, I think... Wait, I thought you liked Tom Holland. <laughs> really? Would I say replaced I thought we all agreed him? he was Maybe. good. Maybe. You can't beat... An original, but then again, he did, I think, such a great job, and he, he really kills the role of Spidey. I'm really nervous still. Tom Holland's up there, you know? Andrew oh. Garfield doesn't even <laughs> count, really. But I have to give it to Tobey Maguire, mainly oh! because he's actually nerdy, and, you know... She, she, like I feel like she dork, just... Equal part right. charismatic. Saying what we said saying on the podcast. Said. Just, he... Perfectly blends the confidence of Spider-Man well, himself, but credit. the awkwardness yeah. of Peter Parker. That's good, right? That's good. So, She's good are you a fan of Spider-Man? The best Spider-Man. So don't... there have been many very good Spider-Men, like that Andrew Garfield and Tobey Maguire. More slick editing. And Patrick Harris and Drake Bell. Wait, 
Neil Patrick Harris is that? I'm afraid that I can get claimed for this music, so I'm sorry, <laughs> Jesse, but... <laughs> oh, isn't that one like a... I'm yeah, I got in trouble for using that. Bradbury. Who's oh, Bradbury joke? Spider-Man okay. Uh, What's wrong <laughs> It's a tie between Tom Holland and Toby. So she voted yeah, for Ethan Bradbury? Really yeah. <laughs> <thing. laughs> um, okay. Spider-Man. That's a good one. I know it's going to sound kind of bandwagon since you just talked about it on the podcast, but it's always been Toby Maguire. I hey, promise. At least she acknowledged that. Like mm-hmm. Hilarious movies. And they're the ones that I grew up watching, so like, obviously they're my favorite. But um, my favorite moment in like any movie is when, I think it's in Spider-Man 3, the, the guy dance. asks for his nope. rent or whatever, and he just turns around and he goes, I'll get you your rent when you fix this, this damn, damn door. door. I got a piece so bad. <laughs> Ian, you're... Good movie. What's with the Spider-Man upset? I love it. It's one of my favorite movies ever. you don't read the comics? Not really. I did when I was a kid, but not, not now. So this is the complicated potluck question. Did you have a clear uh, standout in that one? Oh, from the Spider-Man. Oh, for Spider-Man. Yeah. yeah. Well, she was pretty. She hit the quote. She hit I appreciate it. the quote. Um, That's powerful. You and you pulled it right out of. And the second. Uh, what does her tat say? Zach asked. Well, let's see it. What does it say? She what changed her standing position as well. So yeah, That's maybe true. she was fixing the camera it's or possible. something. Well, yes, you know, and, yes. And there's nothing wrong with with working with what you got either. I mean, you know. I've seen you do it. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. <laughs> you know what? What does it say? What does and, it say? And. It looks like smile and something smile. Hmm. I can't tell. It's yeah, we can't tell what it says. Okay, let's see what the pot look. This is a, a well. The di- correct answer is Toby Maguire, yeah, and it seems like two said that. Or whatever, okay. and he just turns <laughs> around and he goes, "I'll get you your rent when you fix this damn door." <laughs> All right, I won't lie. I did have to Google what a potluck was. I had a rough idea, but also I'm Australian, so come mm. on, give me a bit of a leeway. Anyway, I've taken all factors into consideration besides the cat. Sorry, cat, you can't get a dessert. Speaking of Australian, I can bring Aussie desserts. And speaking of desserts, mm. wow, I'm surprising myself. I used to make cakes for a living. I had my own business making and selling cakes, oh, cupcakes, that's desserts, big. Like that. That's a big anyway, store. You, you, whoa, look at her dessert, Ian. Like, whoa. Like, Wait, go, go back. back. So you guys don't know about Ian, possibly, but he's a baker. Yeah. He brings a lot of delicious bakes in here. This Sephora one's that's crazy. That's really cool. crazy. Okay. I like that's that. That's a big... Okay. Wow. Okay, girl, she's from Australia, but I think we can get her a visa. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Marriage visa, K1, 90 day vir- You want to do a, a 90 day <laughs> 90 day fiance? 90 day virgin. Anyway, I would bring Aussie classics That's like cool, Pavlova, Lamingtons. But also, since you did me- mention that the roommate was vegan, I would bring vegan desserts as well. Something that I think would also be visually pleasing is mini cheesecakes. Mm. Mini vegan cheesecakes. Really I think they would look really nice this. on a platter. Yeah, I appreciate there is a 45 minute drive. I did take that into consideration, mm. which is why everything's packed nicely with ice blocks in a cooler bag, so everything stays nice and cold. Oh, I've never huh. been Well, that's a really thoughtful answer. I really good. want someone to say I'm she's, not going to that part. Right, because she skipped over the part that you met, it's an acquaintance friend. you met one of time a at a bowling alley. <laughs> like, There's a lot. Yeah. But that's that's the two sides. Yours is reasonable to say I'm not going. I'm out. But if someone is going to go to that, they got to come prepared. Yeah. She seems like she would. Oh, be. she seems prepared. And I was very impressed with her baking. I think that was something you guys could really connect. Yeah. With. Yeah. yeah. Let's see what she's about. Just Jesse. for a question in my entire life, um, my only answer I can really give is just go, go fuck yourself. <laughs> Thank okay, you. I take it. So. So she doesn't go. That's what the fuck I'm talking about. <laughs> there you go. Back, but I do not need this kind of anxiety in my life. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about, <laughs> Jesse. That was I, great. Yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> For me, that's something like that. <laughs> <laughs> Go fuck yourself. <laughs> yeah, that was good. For the dessert question, okay, it's Ashland. Simple. It's just lemon bars. My recipe for lemon bars is already vegan, is so Mark would be able to eat them. Okay. Plus, they don't need to be refrigerated or anything, and they're supposed to sit out and be room temperature anyway. Oh. Mm-hmm. So even though they'd be pretty warm Solid. from a 45 minute drive from my house to the potluck, it, they'd be just as good. Mm-hmm. Plus, I make really good lemon bars. You are I asked to bring a okay. dessert. What do you bring? I'd say I Laura. bring my famous apple Laura tart. Be undergoing a transformation. Going on. <laughs> yeah. Tart. But when I look at the circumstances surrounding this hypothetical anecdote, 
and I take my lifestyle into consideration. I've come up with a conclusion. I bake my famous apple tart and then I'd show up late with only half the pie remaining and I'd say that I got robbed along the way. So my answer is brownie pizza. <laughs> so she eats the tart. She eats half. Enough. She wants to show up fashionably late. And then, but she wants to keep half for herself. Mm -hmm. It's an interesting angle. Okay. <laughs> she, oh, she's changing her position every time. That's kind of charming. Mm. It's mixing it up. Yeah. Famous like signature dessert. Okay. But so the public's for someone you don't really Mom, know. Mommy, they're yeah, she baked it. At a bowling alley. Brownie pizza's perfect for that. So you're probably not going to stay long at that party then because you don't know them. So amazing. you bring it in a pizza box. Was that in a fucking coffee grind? Like a coffee filter? So the public's just a <laughs> fancy <laughs> bowl. Oh. <laughs> I was like, that is hell, dude. So you're probably not going to stay long at that party then because you don't know them. So you bring it in a pizza box. You can get out of there really quick That's without it. having to worry about getting your Boom. dish. No, I, you don't um, go. It's for 10 to 15 people. Brownie pizza feeds way more than that. It'll be great. Um, and they're making burgers, but there's a vegan guy there. So huh. we make the brownie pizza. It can be vegan, but it doesn't taste gross and vegan, so that's good. But this will make the vegan guy feel special. And he needs that because his name is Mark. He lives with a couple, so he's already third wheeling. And their cat's name is Marcus. So this oh. guy's probably not getting enough attention, so cool. I feel like mm -hmm. this will really help out Marcus. Um, I like that she's respecting and Mark's really feelings in this so scenario. You Are you Mark? To last a drive <laughs> I can't public. confirm or deny. So I tested that out for you, and let's see how it went. Okay, so into our experiment. Oh, this is our He's really on the go. Oh, <laughs> see the tat. It says and simply. I forgot the third part. Smile. And simply smile. You said smile. I, so. yeah. I don't know. Brownie pizza is oh, he's good. doing it. So oh. He's testing <laughs> the series. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Who's driving? Someone's driving. I gotta pee so bad. Wait, someone was driving? Probably, hopefully not her boyfriend. <laughs> I don't I mean, think so. <laughs> but you know sometimes when you're in a relationship and you're like, what if um, Brad Pitt wanted to fuck me? Would you be okay with that? Am I Brad Pitt in no, this but situation? I, yes, that's my point. <laughs> oh, okay. So they're like, you're that famous guy, and he's like, yeah, if, if Brad Pitt will fuck you, I won't be mad. So maybe that's the situation. If that's the case, <laughs> that's pretty sad. Your past I is Ian the intern from the H3 the podcast. You're famous now, dude. You gotta accept that. <laughs> Do you get recognized a lot on the street? Not a lot now and again. Some no, guy did it at the gym the other day, and he was following me around, and it was a little odd. He was following you? Like, he was, he was like, hey, man. And <laughs> I was like, it's weird when you're in the gym, because... You know, Not a social environment. You don't want yeah. people looking at you there, yeah. you know, when I'm dropping weights on my head or something. So. Right. But it doesn't happen that often. What about what about you, Dan? What, getting recognized? Yeah. Oh, that would require me to actually go out. <laughs> That's my thing. <laughs> That's I, don't us. Get, I go, I don't get recognized <laughs> that much anymore. And we're like, oh, we, we don't leave the fucking house. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's happened now and again when I go to concerts. Is that fun for you guys? I don't mind it at a concert. That's a lot better than at a gym, for sure. <laughs> yeah, the gym. Mm -hmm. yeah. What about Zach? Yeah, I've been recognized at least five times. For oh, real? Yeah. Really? Yeah. At, on campus or on what? On campus. Oh, yeah, oh being in college. Sense. That's yeah. like, that makes sense. Yeah. How does that feel? Is it cool? It's pretty cool. Some yeah. dude wanted to take a picture with me. Fuck yeah, <laughs> dude. <laughs> <laughs> what do you, you should have like you guys should have like um like a slogan you say when someone says hi like Zach's your could yours could be like um party on dude. We gotta get, we gotta get <laughs> keep the, shredding the Yeah, dog. we gotta get uh, keep shredding, yeah. And then Ian's yours is obviously gonna, I gotta yeah. pee. Well Zach can be mayor. When you leave no. oh. Ethan, when you leave don't move. I wanna show the man spreading. Okay, camera. all right, I won't move. <laughs> do you see where's my then tell me if it's clear. Yeah, yeah. Down a little Sorry. bit. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah. right about there. This is my that. chair. I got I got my leg right next well, to my chair and then look <laughs> at Ethan. Oh, right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm yeah, the look. top dog, baby. I got <laughs> man right. spreading. Damn right I'm going to man spread your ass. <laughs> it's real. If you can't man spread your wife, who can you? <laughs> um Ian, when after you take the photo and say hi, you you should say, "All right, well, I got to go pee so bad, so I'll see you later." <laughs> That's fucking hilarious. That's really funny, <laughs> but it's never gonna happen. And then Dan, what's yours say? What would Dan say? Mine, I don't know. He'd honestly his would be like, "I'm." Um, what is it? Not to play devil's advocate. Yeah, actually. Yeah. Well, actually, okay, fair enough. Well, actually, I gotta go play devil's advocate. So. <laughs> but just to play devil's advocate for a second. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> Honestly. <laughs> okay. Pizza um, time. What do we order? Well, we know the real answer is pizza. So let's do this thing. Well, the real answer is round table. All right. So pizza. <laughs> She's Australian, though. Yeah. Earth, in Australia, completely different to America. Good enough. So on my last visit to America, I had pizza from Domino's, and it was life changing. Like, mm, maybe it's that's good. a bit of an exaggeration. So I would get Domino's oh, again, but. Maybe I would get someone to surprise me with what to order. I have a hard time picking because I'm so indecisive when it comes to something like food, which I love so much. So I would either have someone else choose, but some uh -huh. classics that I like, you got your Hawaiian barbecue chicken is good, classic cheese, you know, whatever. Whatever floats your boat, it's pizza, I'm happy. No. Fair Not enough. picky. Respect My go-to yeah. pizza is usually just a vegetarian pizza, a lot of vegetables on top, maybe some extra like feta cheese mm. baked on top of it as well. Thoughts? Mm. That's, but that's good. Healthy. if I'm ordering in a pizza, it's going to be from Domino's. I'm sorry. Domino's I've had Papa John's maybe like know. three times in my life, and every time I've gotten it, they always messed up my order. Well, they didn't slice and ours. I don't live close to one, so I can't give Papa John's so, another chance. So I don't, I don't have a hard time believing that. I'd stick with Domino's, I'm sorry. <laughs> Jesse oh, with the edit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pizza um, with cheese, mozzarella, and cheese. More cheese, mushrooms, That's onions, American cheese. Peppers. Yeah, that's, that sounds good. I'm hungry now. Pizza time. Whoa! <laughs> Who <laughs> 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 do you get? I'll just literally get a uh, pizza margarita because I'm basic as hell. <laughs> what did she say she gets? I didn't hear. Yeah, I didn't hear. I'm well, staring at the makeup. makeup. <laughs> pizza time. Who do you order? I mean, I know she's doing a do goof. Wait, we got to hear. I'll just she said margarita pizza. I know she's doing a goof with the makeup. I assume that's not how she usually goes outside, right? It seems she like maybe she does like a makeup channel or. Yeah, we know, sort of lost the. Like, the context, but she explained at the beginning she Pizza had time. to be putting Who it on for something, so from? she was just gonna multitask. <laughs> oh, she does, this is her actual makeup she goes outside in? No, she it, she said it's drag makeup. Oh, okay, yeah, that makes sense. I was gonna say that I thought she looked, I thought she looked great in the beginning. Just trying to keep the, You're not on board with these lashes, these makeup look? Well, I mean, it looks very dramatic. I would assume it's not. She doesn't That's just do it on a day to day. That's probably an event going somewhere. Yeah. Would you um, wear that? Would you put on <laughs> lashes like that? Only on the most special of occasions. Only the most special, <laughs> like wedding. Wedding? No. no. And what do you Let's get? go. I'll just literally get a uh, pizza margarita because I'm basic as hell. <laughs> Margarita's basic. I love the margarita. And I hate Domino's. Oh. Because their pizza tastes like cardboard. <laughs> well, she did that. <laughs> she went out there. Pizza huh? time. So, where am I going and what am I getting? Um, I'm definitely going to this place called Pie Hole we have in Boise. Pie Hole. It's so good. Local it's open until pizza. 2 a.m. It has like cool graffiti on the walls. It's just like an awesome place. It's really cheap too. But they have this potato bacon pizza. So oh Idaho my God. with that. Oh. That's so potato. Um, it's so good. It's so like I'm creamy definitely going potato there and getting a slice of that. And you should definitely come try it sometime if you're ever in Idaho. Hmm. I got a piece so bad. That's an invitation, my dude. Okay, now some weird question about peeing. Weird question. Fucking strange, bro. This whole question about peeing is super strange. I don't think so. You're with someone that needs to go to the restroom. You've got A, B, and C as your possible options. I won't read it out because it would be so long. I want to wrap this up as quick as possible so I'm not boring you guys. But C, C Thank all you. the way. Thank you. Because, like you, Ian, sometimes I need a piece so bad. And it, it sucks because, you know, you just can't help it. And sometimes you're doing something really busy, like working yeah. on a really important exactly. podcast. I am. But you just really need a piece so bad. Yeah. So I would be mindful exactly. of that because I've been in that That's situation so many happens. times. Exactly. And I got a piece so <laughs> bad. <laughs> Weird. I don't think this question actually really needs an answer because if you really look into it, it's it's about your cause, Ian, because you're bringing awareness to the to the people that people pee, they and maybe do. not everyone, but there's more people peeing than I thought, and that's I know that <laughs> because of you, because of your cause, and I think it's I so brave that, that you're. I like Jesse. Yeah, this <laughs> for, for all the peeing humans around there, and like 
bringing awareness. <laughs> You're very and, welcome, Jesse. You know, Thank you. I don't understand. What's all this hubbub about like, peeing? Go pee really if you cool. need. I don't. I got a I don't. So bad. I don't <laughs> stop anyone from peeing. <laughs> Good hydro homie you know i drink at least two liters of water every single day and i try to be extra sure of it and you know keep myself hydrated we love to have some clear pee in this household but yes, that is a good factor i would personally never say i have to pee so bad in front of thousands of people on the water <laughs> At that point, you're kind of asking for some sort of can, can we fast? Sorry, can we sorry. fast forward? Can oh, you click oh fucking goal! That I was that. so good. You have to give props for that answer. I couldn't but, really. I, I really I didn't hear what you were so saying. That was so good. I gotta be so bad. Can we cut that out? It's too late. Hope I don't, don't disappoint you with these answers. Well, obviously, see, I have a tiny lady bladder, so I have Ooh. to go multiple times a day as well. You're multiple, still a yeah, pee boy, a though. Cool you just gotta arm. accept it. Um, I'm gonna choose C for this one. I'll let Thank them you. excuse themselves. I'm not gonna ridicule them. Mm -hmm. It's natural, everybody does it. Sure so, do. uh, yeah, just let them excuse themselves. But I know this is about that sound bit, and I actually really love that sound bit. I think it's funny. I love it. Um, I'm just let you know, Ian, I gotta pee so bad, too. Nice, nice. <laughs> well, I think the girls really put a good effort yeah. in. They all really stepped up to the challenge, and I appreciate them all so much. Thank you, everyone. Making a I got to be so bad. You are, that was awesome. So you are Ian. all winners in my eyes. So, Ian. Uh, mm -hmm. We have two roses to present. We have five lovely girls, but only two roses. This is difficult. So we've got Those just, are to, all... just to summarize. We have Raina. We have Raina. Raina. Ashlyn. We have Raina from Australia. Ashlyn. Jesse. We have Jesse. We have Laura. Laura and Katie. And we have. Where's Katie? Katie. There's Katie. Katie. R Raina, Ashlyn, Laura. Here, let me pull up their picks for you. Go ahead, think about Katie it. Katie and that's Ashlyn. We're missing one here on the on the link. It's on the top. It's the text. Okay, whatever. You, come on, Ian. Pick a pick one. <laughs> okay. Who gets a crusty old rotten rose? <laughs> so by the way, now Ian's gonna give two roses and we're gonna have to gum down to a final. And the winner is going to get a plane ticket out here to Los Angeles <laughs> to go on a romantic date. Possibly even a getaway. Possibly. We'll have to oh. see. Like, maybe you guys can go to San Diego for a weekend or something. Oh, man. And we can, like, hear about it. I mean, this is serious. This is not a joke. Okay. I'm looking. Fantasy suites? Okay. Fantasy suites, baby. You guys are going to fuck. No. <laughs> Take it easy, no, translator. No, what, I, the coitus is not uh, required. The what? Coitus. Okay. You hit a little accent on that. Coitus? Co coitus. Coitus, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but but this there's a lot on the line for these these wonderful young ladies. So Ian, do you have any thoughts? Well, uh, I liked. Why don't we go one by one? Like we okay. put up Raina on the screen. Raina, Raina was great. I love that she baked. She respects yeah. my bladder. Yep. She took into account the traveling for the people, mm -hmm. the potluck, and. Uh, I think I gotta give Raina a rose. Really? I think so. Represent to me. So oh, here we go again. I'm Raina. <laughs> oh god, I hate this part. <laughs> uh, Raina, you gotta put an accent on. She's Australian. Y'all see him? Yeah, 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 mate. Yeah, mate. Uh, yeah, oh, mate. That that was great. Will you? Except this dead, decrepit rose. Yes. Ian, with all my heart and with all the appreciation and sincerity in the world, mm. I accept this rose. Your Australian accent sounds a little odd. <laughs> and I think, and I, I just want you to know that I, I don't believe in waiting until marriage for to have sex. Mm. I don't believe that you. We should have sex before we get married. Oh, you mean coitus? Coitus, yes. Oh, okay. And I also believe that um, I am a I am a uh, Scientologist, so I hope that oh. you'll be able to join with me. Oh, yeah, because, we can um, check our theme levels together. Excellent. Yeah. 
Also, I want to say that I have a condition where mm -hmm. um, my butthole is so tight and I poop out of my vagina. Oh. I hope that's not a problem for you. <laughs> but with all the those in bear in mind, I would love to accept your rose. Thank you. Can I have a kiss? Not right now. Okay. Wow, that's exciting. Right out the Wow. Plate. Okay. So you only have one rose, so you better choose wisely now. Damn. Okay, Katie. In all her glory. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Katie was gr she. I liked Katie a great. lot. Yeah, great girl. I liked that she tested. She drove around with the. Mm. She she put she it in went, action. Yes. Yep. Absolutely. She kept mobile. Absolutely. Uh, she won't ridicule my bathroom uh, visitations. See, I feel well. I gotta pee so bad. <laughs> I mean, I know it's right out the gate. I think I got to give Katie the other rose. Are really? You me away? Hold on, you're ruining the show. <laughs> Wait, okay. Right let's, this one. Do you want well, to review the other no, ones? Well, are you so sure? That's a no to Ashlyn. See, this is the part. She I don't did want. ridicule you, for kind of. She goofed on you a little bit for saying, "Who would say I got to pee so bad in front of a million people?" <laughs> she did goof on me. Yes. You've got Jesse, who doesn't appear to be American, although it could be. She had an accent, didn't she? I don't think um, I, how. I don't think that, three of them aren't from the that, state. That makes me question the sincerity. Who they are far away. <laughs> They're like, yeah, I'll, I'll date. <laughs> and I live in fucking Australia. You know. <laughs> Where is um, Katie yeah, from? Low Do we risk. know? Low risk reward. Uh, she was the though. one that said she's from uh, Idaho, right? So she got, had the, she liked the potato pizza. That's right. She picked local pizza. I, I, that's good. I like that too. So wait, Ashlyn's the one you chose? No. Okay. No, Katie. How did Katie. I end up on Katie? I didn't mean to skip straight to her. So you. All right. Well, whatever. We you know do. the answers. It's Katie. We come on. But Start, you all uh, we, were great. They were all fantastic. I want to say, Ashlyn, you're such Thank a you, fantastic Ashlyn. girl. Yeah. We wish you to hope find love, and and you deserve love, and your yes. Mr. Right is out there, Jesse. Hilarious, mm -hmm. Very fantastic! Yeah. You are gonna find Mr. Right. Those editing skills were slick. And, yeah. and, and I want to know what the la the eighth song was that she's heard. Please yeah, let us know. And, and, and frankly, <laughs> Jesse, um, I think you're too good for Ian. <laughs> anyway, I I'm inclined to agree. Katie, Katie, you accepted. Right? Yes, Katie, yes. you're in. So wonder, there is also. I wonder why. Come on, man. She's got great paintings on her wall, great artwork. And then Laura, Laura. who. Laura, I liked Laura a lot, too. Yeah, Laura seems like she's got a lot of character, a lot of personality, but ultimately, Ian thinks that you are just not good enough. That's to make not it <laughs> translator, take Ian it is, easy. Is, in, in short, he said no, an emphatic no. Mm, Laura. It wasn't emphatic. It was very <laughs> quiet, so, hesitant, so, no. Please, for, on, on behalf of Katie, would you like to present a rose to me? <sighs> I guess I have to, right? Katie... Catherine, will you accept? My name's not Catherine. Okay. We don't have to fight during the rose ceremony here. Well, don't make, well, don't put words in my mouth. Okay. Well, I've got this really dying dead rose here. Will you take it? Will you accept it? Will you have it? Will you embrace this rose? Well, I do wish that you had a... Why is it that you're presenting me with dead rose, Ian? I mean, that's not a romantic way to start our, con uh, our relationship, but... It's I, an aged rose. I will. The fine wine. <laughs> Ian, I would like to say mm -hmm. that I will accept this rose begrudgingly. Mm -hmm. I think as a man, you have a lot of room for improvement. Yes. But I think that if we work on you... Mm -hmm. If we can get you up to 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 where I think you need to be as a as a man, mm -hmm. that we do have a future uh, together. Wow. I'd like to know, Ian. Um, yes. First of all, Ian, mm -hmm. I don't have a job, and I don't like to work. Okay. Will you provide for me? I mean, as long as I have one, but you know, we'll see how that goes <laughs> after the <this> segment. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, good. You'll provide for me. And I also want to say that I don't like having sex. And also, I'm a lesbian. Oh, wow. So, um... I mean, I have a bit of an effeminate personality, so... So, I'm going to need you to tuck your dick mm -hmm. behind your legs, tape it to your asshole, 
and pretend that you have a vagina when we have sex. Is that okay with you? Oh, it's taped right now, Katie. I'll eat out your, your pubic butt <laughs> and pretend you have a vagina. Is that okay? Eat out the... Hila <laughs> put the camera okay. down on that one. <laughs> so, yes, and in short, I will accept your rose. Thank you. Wow, that's... Whoa. I'm glad she accepted. I was worried she wasn't going to accept I was a little it. nervous, yeah. too. Dang. But she did. So we've got Katie. Kind of a hurtful speech Katie. from Katie well, on that no, one. She just wanted to make sure she's making the right choice. And Raina. Did I finally say her name right? Yes. yes. So we're going to have to reach out to them for the final rose ceremony. Wow. And the winner wins a flight out to Los Angeles and a date. A romantic date with Ian. We're going to have to set up a romantic table and, and like, have some kind of... I mean, obviously, I want you guys to have some alone time, but the vast majority we're going to be recording. Oh. And I think if I get you guys a hotel room, I don't want to put cameras in it. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> we like, can work that out. Like, off like, air, they think. do that in the back. Man. They put cameras in there all day. Yeah. That is true. Well, thank you, everybody. That was great. I appreciate it. Was it was great. Congratulations to the two yeah. finalists. Yes. So Thank you all. Love is awesome. in the air. Love really, truly is in the air. Very romantic. <laughs> thank you, Ian. Now, you can take that garbage and throw it out. And <laughs> take these two. These are the important two. Yeah, dude. <laughs> so, I don't know. He bitched out a lot of rides, but it's fine. We had fun. Uh, <laughs> Ian. <laughs> Ian didn't what? pee all day. Hmm. He was making a point of it. You know what was funny? A lot of people coming up to us kept going to Ian. So, are you? Do you have to pee or what? And I was like, Yeah. Well, there was one of the uh, the people uh, at you know when you get off the rides and he pointed to Ian. He's all, you know, for people with small bladders, the <laughs> restrooms over there. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, I love that. And then I learned something about Ian that really, uh, uh -oh. I mean, you guys know that we've been doing this bachelor <laughs> segment <laughs> with Ian. <laughs> Put it on Ian. <laughs> and then put it on Dan. I don't know, whoever, you guys, you guys know what you're doing. Anyway, I got to focus on talking. I'm so exhausted. This is a terrible episode. I'm just exhausted. <laughs> if you like this show and you just like watching us sit here, that's fine. But don't expect anything of value to come out of this episode. <sighs> Ian, wait, we have this show, The Bachelor. With a three. With the H3, or yeah, capital H and a three, very <laughs> clever. And we've been setting up Ian with all these dates, and I'm learning now. And he's he's a girl, he hit him up in the Instagram DMs, and she wanted to join, but she missed the cutoff. Mm -hmm. And now they're getting somewhat serious, and I'm like, okay, well then we got to bring her in as a wild card. And Ian goes... I don't want to include her in the show. And I'm like, okay, Ian, then let's do it my way. Because he goes, she's outside the show. I says, Ian, you found her from the show. She wanted to be a contestant. You're ruining the integrity of The Bachelor. This is serious. True. We're here to find love, Ian. And you found a girl outside of the game show format. And you're ref and you I says, okay, well then, Ian, why don't you just tell her that I want her on the show and let her decide? And Ian says, no. I'm like, all right then, dude. Love is in my hands. <laughs> and I'm taking the power back. Because the show is... We never have other people that would love to be The Bachelor, Ethan. Uh, Ethan, Ian. Ian. I know, you I agree. Ian. <laughs> <laughs> but do you see... We have uh, people... Uh, Requesting to become the next bachelor and we have some really eligible people lined up. Okay now you for you to I mean What's going on here Ian? Can you say something and what do you think the other two are gonna think now the two I girls? He's so bad <laughs> Exactly Ian, speak for yourself. Go ahead. Uh, I don't remember signing something where I had to pass over every DM to you guys for review Beforehand, I don't remember that no, we well, I don't remember that either because it doesn't happen. But what I do expect is that if we're doing a dating show for you, Ian, that they, they you uh, can't, wait, you, correct me if I'm wrong because you guys are a big uh bachelor, bachelor niche, bachelor yeah. fans. Yeah, didn't the winner like he wasn't invested at all and he did it just to boost his music career? Judd, yes, that is so? that's true, but... So the actual Bachelor has no integrity to it. Well, Judd... Wait, so, okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> his name is actually Jed, but we like to call him Judd. So Judd got slammed 
about his uh, his fake intentions and right. also having a girlfriend outside of the show. Yeah. So if you wish to be treated like Judd, <laughs> careful. <laughs> because people take it very seriously. I think a lot of people take it very seriously. It's true. I don't expect you to tell me every DM and correspondent you have, obviously, although I would appreciate... I would like that, to be honest, but okay, I don't expect it because obviously you have a private <laughs> life. That being said, she did come to you um, in association with The Bachelor dating show. Is that correct? Yes or no? The Bachelor uh, with the three. It was around that time, yeah. And she did she did she or did she not say that she wished she was in the show and she missed the cutoff? She mentioned the show, yes. Okay. And do you think that having an outside influence like this is jeopardizing the integrity of the two finale of the two finalists that we've selected i don't think so okay why how <laughs> okay but hold on let me ask you this then ian what okay how often do you talk to because you were texting with her all the time we were at disney is yes or no not the whole time no a little you bit you texted but... with her a little bit while we were at disney <laughs> have you spoken to any of the other two finalists uh one of them Okay, how much have you spoken? Not that much. Now, do you think it's fair to the girl who you haven't spoken to at all? And and then meanwhile, you're texting the other girl while we're at Disney. I mean, my DMs are there. They're open. But... Your DMs are open, you're saying. But she's... she. Well, I think that she's, you know, has more integrity. She's Respecting a, she, the yeah. integrity of Although the Although, to, to be fair, I never said don't DM Ian. That's not a rule. Yeah, but it it could be assumed it's implied, that that's a for rule. Sure. Yeah, right, a hundred percent. If I, anything, I think uh, messaging him is kind of like, uh, it, well, someone really competitive like maybe cheating. would do that. It's it, a it's, it's light cheating. Yeah, it's but it's like a gray area. It is know? a gray area. But someone who would win the Bachelor would probably go the extra that extra step towards True. connecting with the the contestant. But my point is, is I, in my opinion, this whole thing has been jeopardized because Ian seems to have real affections for this third girl. And I'm sorry if I'm out. <laughs> well, then her. what's the point of exactly. the show? Exactly. I just don't know what's the point. If, she's, if we don't get to talk to her. Ian, is it embarrassing you that I said that you have real affections for the third girl? You don't know what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> There's a reason why, because... because uh, <laughs> Well, your main. Why goal are you here. not on camera? Why are <laughs> you showing me when I, I talk to you? I don't so understand. <laughs> your main goal is to make this as cringe How as dare possible. You. I think. My not main goal true. is for love, for to find you love. What is your plan for My, the next uh, segment? I got a piece Can so you bad. describe? <laughs> well, we had sure. I'll explain. <laughs> and then uh, yeah, let's I'll see how cringe it is or okay. not. Okay. <laughs> the idea for the finale is that the two <laughs> finalists call in on a Skype tablet. We're going to set up a nice dinner table, like Italian with the red and white checkered fabric and a rose and some wine and some spaghetti and meatballs. And I'll sit across from Ian holding the tablet of the finale contestant, and Ian will have a one-on-one -on -one date with them, <laughs> but I'll be holding the tablet. <laughs> and then we'll be recording. Yeah, and then we'll be recording. <laughs> I don't know. Do you have a better idea? That yes, we need to be now entertaining you're at the same why time. I may not is want gonna, to involve is someone that, in that. Is Zach gonna play live music? Mm -hmm. Dan, can, uh, Zach, can you play like flamenco? Hell yes. <laughs> Flamenco's like the Spanish with the Hell nylon strings. Hell yes. It's romantic. Hell yes. Okay, Ian. Yes. Why would anyone not want to be a part of that? A <laughs> Proxy date with Ethan while Zach plays. Uh, I got a piece. It's not a date bites. with me. Somebody's got to hold the tablet. <laughs> that is a good point. I don't have a robot to hold the tablet. So what you want to? You guys. I, well, when you know how when you learn to drive, the driver next to you can take over at any point. Learner driver. Yes. Then needs to have a overrider switcher. Mm. So that when Ian talks, then can switch yeah. on to him. I agree. It's outrageous that you don't show your when you talk. I mean, it's upsetting to me. And we went to great lengths, Ian, <laughs> to get you a button, to yes. to get you the mic to open, and here you are still <laughs> dodging it. 
I'm they, doing it. I'm pressing buttons. I'm all over. <laughs> I got this. It's a lot to juggle, to be fair. To be fair to Ian. Thank then you. Then is, is it possible to have a second switch? <laughs> well, well, we'll see what we can do. <laughs> it, yeah, it, is, it is possible, actually. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. I might have to do that. The only thing is basically, yeah, we just need you, Dan, to switch to Ian. And yep. Yep. Yeah. Just over. You have like the master Ian. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. yeah, I actually do know a way to do that, so I can get that okay, set up good, for next time. Good, 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 good. Great. <laughs> well, anyway, that's something I learned at Disney too. We're still on Disney, and <laughs> I'm. I just I don't know what to say because Ian. It's a lot of drama. I don't know what I don't know how much integrity the show has left. So what because are you proposing you're gonna pay, here? I'm, I'm worried these girls are going to pull out now because I yeah, just I scheduled the whole thing with them for next week. Like it's on and they're going to they? see this episode. Well, because uh, why would they not want to bail? Because Ian, if I'm giving you two finalists and they're putting their heart on the line for you, and you're going to have to pick a winner, no, you need to disclose first of all that you are interested in a third girl at all, let alone the fact that she's interested in being a contestant on this show. If you really love her, Ian, you will let her compete <laughs> so you can pick her. <laughs> Everything you say only makes me realize I sh never shouldn't have even mentioned this. Well, well, we will problem. always find out everything. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, that's I true. I got a piece so we will, bad. <laughs> we will find that. See, that's that's the wrong attitude to have. <laughs> that's the wrong thing. <laughs> All right, well, let's move on because I don't think we're getting anywhere here, but. But do you see my problem, at least? Do you see the conundrum that I'm in? Yes. So, okay. what, do you want to, you're extending the invite to do a wild card edition yes. or what? Well, I didn't want to even have this conversation like this, to <laughs> be honest. Me neither. But you didn't, you didn't leave me any choice. <laughs> I gave you, I gave you reasonable options, and you, you rejected all of them. I, I wanted to introduce her as a third wild card. But I had to reach out. Wait, you said reasonable options. I'm pretty sure that was the only option. <laughs> no, I said, I said, well, at least what I said to you that I thought was reasonable was at least tell her I want her to be on the show <laughs> and give her the option. Okay. Well, now she's aware. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. Okay. All right. Well, mission accomplished. Is she local? <laughs> Is she local? No. Where does she live? Okay, maybe let's not. let's yeah, cool. We don't it. need to go that um, far. Let's cool yeah. it there, but what's her address? <laughs> yeah, but we have three non-local girls then, right? Mm. That's kind of an issue. Although that's what the bachelors do. They're like, I'm unemployed <laughs> in Los Angeles, and I just fell in love with another unemployed person from Kansas. <laughs> so stupid. I love that show. Ian is employed though, <laughs> so let's move on. What? Well, how? Uh, you know, uh, so that's that. Okay, let's get to the bottom of this. Now, a lot of you guys have been wanting a conclusion to The Bachelor with Ian. Yes. Things I'm sorry to say. Heat it up back here. I don't think we're going to have that conclusion. We were slated to record it tomorrow. Now, we had a big argument argument about this in the last episode, and the third girl, the, the wild card, does not want to come on the show. Is that right, Ian? That's what's been expressed to me, yes. And and why is that? Um, they just you know don't want to be. Why on is camera. Ian not on the screen? Because I told you we need Dan to have a. I see Dan just eating <laughs> chips. <laughs> um, Dan, why are you eating during the show? <laughs> why not? I'm not hungry. <laughs> All I see is Dan eating <laughs> chips, and I want to see Ian. Ian, show yourself when you talk. I'm here. Yeah, what's up? Go ahead. Why she don't want to be on the show? Dan almost looked like that gay for the eating popcorn, like mm, watching right. the drama. Yeah. <laughs> okay, go uh, ahead. Go ahead, Ian. You know, just not everyone wants to be on camera, wants to be a big spectacle, you know? I get Stop! That. You already told me the reason. Why do you play hard to get? You I'm already you, told me the reason. Which? That she doesn't want to be, she doesn't want him to think that she just wants to be on the show. That's okay. different. That's why we're very specific. We already talked about this. And now you're telling me while well, we're on the air. It's both, I think, right? Yeah, it's both. It's both. You. Let's just keep it low energy. No, there's low, no low energy nice. here on this topic. But I feel like every time I bring Ian on and we have a converse, a fruitful conversation about something, I'm, I'm like, okay, let's talk about it on the show. It's always like, 
oh, she just, not everyone wants to be on the camera. That's not what we said. There's more information than that. Not okay. everything we say has to be a big okay. thing on the show. My problem, yes, Ian, yes. Mm -hmm. is the third girl. Because she found you through the show. She knows exactly what we're doing here. <coughs> she can't play that innocent. She knows exactly about The Bachelor with the Three, what mm -hmm. we do here. She decided to, you know, talk to you, see what's up. She's now she ruined it for the other two girls. The the game. And she won't come on on the show. At least say, hi, what's up? Yeah, I'm the girl that ruined it. Why would she want to do that? You guys have demonized her. I agree. <laughs> She's with not. Ela. Go ahead, Zach. No, I agree with Hila. I think she totally fucked this up. I don't well, want we to were, ever we hear from you. We weren't demonizing her. We were <laughs> what, not demonizing her. What does that mean? What did you say, Ian? I said, I don't want to hear from Zach on this. What does that mean? What I don't want to take mean? dating tips <laughs> yeah. from you. Dude. What are you talking about? Yeah, well, what is that? What do you mean <laughs> what, by what that? What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> what does that mean, Ian? <laughs> this is low energy. We all are good, positive But vibes. not happening, See, Zach, Ian. Zach has a lot, of a lot of game. I'm not quite sure what, you, what, what, what his advice is invalid about. <laughs> Wait, you. can you can you, you have to expand on that? Yeah, comment. please. <laughs> Just I don't want to hear from Zach. He doesn't know because he hasn't. He's not on the camera with this. He's not having his dating life put all over. That all right? That. Okay. That's fair. That is very fair. Like, say we just start yelling at you because your girlfriend didn't want to come on the show. Like, is that, that fair? To no, put you, you, have a, you have a very valid point. No, he doesn't. No. Well, hold on, hold on, hold Go on. Ahead, Zach. But, Go ahead. but then again, I am in a relationship with my girlfriend. Stop! Stop! Why am I on the camera? <laughs> you guys are having a conversation. Thank you. I, I am in a, a committed, <laughs> devoted relationship, and this is someone you're talking to. Then we have to fix this. You have to have, like, an override switcher. You know what I mean? Yeah, okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go ahead. Continue. So, uh, don't... I, okay. I feel like that's... He's going to piss me off. <laughs> com completely different. Because you're, you're dating, correct? You're not in a relationship. I'm not dating anyone, yeah. Okay. Well, for the, the sake of the show, I feel like it's been completely uh, messed up. Yes. Yeah, the integrity is gone. And I think we're going to have to call it off. So I think we, had a, we didn't fully establish. So I wasn't supposed to go on any dates or talk to any girls as long as this was ongoing. That's, that's no. Okay. If okay. Or those girls, like, I wouldn't be upset if either of these contestants were date going on dates right now because this is so drawn out. Okay, let me, like let me weeks. tell you. If you found a girlfriend that became serious, I would expect you to tell us and then we would call it off. You're and in that a hasn't with, happened. Okay, so. but you have a third girl who you're more interested in. You've been talking to. You <laughs> had like a few hours conversation. That I feel like if she was in this... If she was, you've talked to her on the phone, Ian. If she was in this competition with the other two girls, you would choose this third girl. Right or wrong? Just go ahead. Tell the truth. I don't get, I'm not, that's irrelevant though, because why, that's not part of the show. But she, but she, she came to you through the show. No, she came to me through my DMs. If she came through the show, we would she be the uh, cut talking off. to her okay, right now. Okay, through the DMs, but where did you? Where? How did she find out about you? I mean, she's, I you I mean, she, she's aware she, of the show. How did she find out you were single? She didn't. She mention the dating how show. How did she find out you were single? Uh, she knew on the show. I yeah, said I was thank single. You. Look, at the end of the day. You got to, you know, give back to the Papa and Mama, Ethan and Hila, and that's what it's all about. <laughs> thank you. You have to respect and say thank you. He's right. I, no, I actually, I feel for the other girls, first of all, mm. I wouldn't now bring them here for a pointless date. No, it doesn't he's sound, in love. yeah. Well, I don't know if he's in love, but he's more interested, it sounds like, in the third girl. Then one of the other girls says she doesn't want to come out. That's a whole new thing. I though. guess Ian, that was the one you were taught. Ian started talking to this girl. Apparently, she's like, I don't want to even come out anymore after talking to him. <laughs> right, Ian? I mean, it didn't play out exactly like that, but. <laughs> well, I, I don't know what to so do. Bad. I don't I don't feel that it's uh, And also honesty. for the viewers, I mean, we're not just making like fake content. There needs to be some realness to it. Well, yeah. And Ian goes, so if, Ian goes, well, it's just content, isn't it? And I say, no. 
First of all, how dare you? Uh, suggest I don't know that what you're show you're trying to emulate, but that's how they all operate. No, but the pretense is that they're there for. Do you this know isn't a normal way Zach, to meet people? Exactly. Yeah, do that. you know that there's like at least three or four couples from The Bachelor and Bachelorette that are still happily married to this day, and Which that's kids? not even including the Bachelor in Paradise couples that got married and had kids. It's not. It's, a, it's about finding true love. But I maybe he found it people. with the third girl, but she won't even come say hi. I'm calling it off. I'm calling it off. I said, okay, well, why don't you just, let's just claim this third girl the winner and bring her out. And record it for the show. See, that's where, <laughs> you know, not everyone wants to be on camera. Yeah. I respect that. I don't. Nope. You know, I was all excited. I wrote a flamenco guitar piece. Exactly. You did? Yeah. Oh, my God. See. <laughs> So what I'm thinking of doing is that me I and Ian to have to that. have a date now. <clears throat> I'm down. Me and Ian will have a date and Zach will serenade us. That'll probably okay. be more romantic anyway. <laughs> What's going to happen in the date? I'm going to finger his asshole. <laughs> I disapprove. <laughs> You're not on board with this? <laughs> no. Well, Sam, what do you, you want to do? You want to do go through with it with these two girls and claim a winner? Especially when we know that one of them doesn't even want to come now. So what am I supposed to do on our planned segment, Ian? <clears throat> I mean, I don't know. With one of them that didn't even want to come, uh, that kind of botched it anyway with only two. What happened 50% with that? percent wasn't you, working. Can you describe what happened with the girl that didn't want to come? I think they just felt a little uncomfortable to be flown around the world for this. And you're talking getting honeymoon suites and stuff for people that have never even Fantasy met. suite, Ian. Now imagine, <laughs> can you see why that... That might make her feel weird. I don't weird. know no. what was weird to be. I mean, our intentions were were made quite clear. Flown the around the globe yeah. and said, "Here is a honeymoon suite for this person who you've Excuse never me, spoken to." Excuse me, she applied to. for the show, didn't she? But Ian, you're a catch. Any girl would be lucky to do the, that. R- yes, Thank you, Zach. but also should I claim Zach the winner? Can we go? <laughs> I got the hair for it. Yeah, apparently, <laughs> yeah, there apparently, go. you don't need our permission, Ian. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> Um, it's so, all, I don't it's know. All, that's where it's at. I, I don't, don't know. know. By the way, Ian, I'm not. I'm not forcing anyone to spunk with you. I mean, that's outrageous. That's what yeah. you said on the show. I said, that's "Well, fly her out. We'll get her a hotel room, and you well, guys go on a date." Well, the idea was that you go on a date. I'm kidding. Yeah, I'm not okay. forcing anyone to stay in a yeah. room with you. That's outrageous. so. These are things that we should have made clear. Oh come on! What? I, that's I, what? I, that's I, all she knows. I, okay. The people who apply to watch the show, she could have asked Dan for more details. Yeah. The one who's organizing the event. <laughs> Not you. <laughs> Any girl would be lucky to come out here and date you. Thank you, Zach. So don't put yourself down like that. Thank you, Zach. Do I have any roses for you, Zach? I think there's one in the fridge. <laughs> oh, we just oh, move gee, on thanks. to season Dan, two? Dan, what's your opinion? Yeah, what do we do about this? <laughs> yeah, this whole thing is a disaster at this point. It's a disaster. It's such a disaster. Yeah, I know. I do know. we just move on to season two? <laughs> I mean, who's going to want to participate in this shit show? Maybe now? this was just the pilot season. We don't even call it season That's one. True. This is the pilot. Well, if this is the pilot, the network's definitely not picking it up. <laughs> who's the next bachelor, bachelorette? Should we unveil the next bachelor? I also feel like I saw people in the comments saying I'm ungrateful for the for what for I don't know going on a date <laughs> for the opportunity for we people. gave you. But since day one, I was never stoked. I said I was single, and then you guys said, so you Mommy and Daddy ungrateful. have to approve of all dates. <laughs> they do! Ungrateful. That's how ungrateful. it went down. You're so. even more ungrateful You have than women we falling, tripping over their feet, running to you. You've got women all around the globe They made PowerPoints for, for you, Ian. You. I love the PowerPoints. And great. I think they're yeah, really you already cool forgot girls. about the PowerPoints. People were calling you an incel. You already right? moved to the new PDF. <laughs> you have you wanna... to be celibate to be an incel. <laughs> you went against the family. That's the part that's hard about this. That's exactly. True. You want to get how do you, what do you what how do you answer that charge, Ian? You, you saw w- those Google shits and you just moved on. <laughs> you went against the family. No, I didn't. I think you guys are making it worse than it is. I was down to keep going, and then you guys, you know, because we're not into it. fake, Ian. I don't know. I feel like this third girl threw a wrench in it. Okay. I'd like to think that that you being the model employee that you are, a member of this family, as Zach said, <laughs> you would say to me, in a perfect world, you would say, a third girl approached me. She learned about me on the show. I like her a lot. I've been talking to her. I think that we need to end the... End the so say I the, met in, a girl that wasn't through the show over the last two months, <laughs> and I've 
I have to disclose that to you? No. That's a little different. No, you don't mm. have to disclose that. I don't see how that's different. <sighs> Dude, I'm already really fucking stupid. <laughs> <laughs> What's right, this? This is over. <laughs> She Jeez. came to you through the show. What's the difference? No, you're not stupid. You're playing dumb. Right, Ela? Did he turn off his mic? Dead air. Yeah, he's out. Dead air. Give him, put him back on, uh, Dan. I'm, he's in charge of his own destiny now. Oh, no. <laughs> Ian, I didn't mean to call you stupid. I meant you're playing stupid. Okay. There's a difference between a girl who found you through the show... And a girl you randomly met, unassociated. I'm just saying, we were at Disney having a good time, and I said, oh, I've kind of been talking to this girl a little. She's pretty cool. And I thought you'd be like, oh, that's nice. And then it's become like a huge, <laughs> awful thing. Is it awful? <laughs> she's called me, and she's like, yeah, she? I felt a little uncomfortable about that. I'm feeling weird, and uh, I don't know. How did, she's, she's not happy with these kind of conversations? <laughs> I don't think so. Hmm. Is it souring her experience of being a fan of the show? Who knows? Who knows? But we could just talk about the uh, adult awards if you want to do that instead. You want to come in fun. here? Is that what you mean? Yeah. Okay, come in here. Okay. I love you, Ian. <laughs> I shouldn't have called him stupid. That yeah. was rude. That's that not what I meant. Not cool. I agree. That was. That's not what I meant. I meant to say, we, you're playing stupid. Do you want to get on the kitchen floor? Yeah, I owe him a titty apology. Ian, I apologize for calling you stupid. That's not what I meant to say. I blurted it out, and I, and I, and I Ian didn't Ian is it. actually very smart. He's very intelligent. He's very sweet. It wouldn't be the first time people have called me dumb. That's not what I meant. I, sh I apologize. That just, that was wrong of me. It's okay. And you're a catch, Ian. Thank you're you. Catch. Thank you, Zach. But, but you do acknowledge that, I mean, you can see the difference between... What I meant is like it should be obvious the difference between I think we just through the show and not through the show I think we just didn't get all the ground rules of the show that we probably should have lined I guess out. we need a lawyer here Yeah, we need someone An to interpret arbiter. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> well <sighs> We've been through a lot these past 20 minutes <laughs> and I feel like I snapped a little bit there when I called you stupid I'm it's fine. I'm all did good. I offend you? No It'd be it'd take a lot for you to do that. I'm low energy because I'm sick. I'm so. sick too. I'm low energy, but I just I just feel so bad. I got to put on that bra <laughs> and apologize on the kitchen floor to you. <laughs> that would be nice. But um, yes, I was serious about fingering your asshole though. I know. Good. Well, uh, um, Ian is here to present to us. Ian was uh, lucky enough to attend the Pornhub Awards. It's time to squash the beef, and this beef is on a mayonnaise sandwich. Ian, the intern, as you may all know, recently was the center of a drama here on the H3 podcast, the greatest show ever made, because we had put together an entire segment to find Ian true love. It was The Bachelor with an H3. Uh, it was inspired by our favorite show, The Bachelor, which actually is going to be returning next month. This isn't a sponsor. I'm just... Uh, <laughs> you know, speaking my mind, I do like that show, and I'm looking forward to the return. Okay. Though I'm not a fan of Peter, who they chose, but that's beside the point. Yeah. Uh, Ian, we set him up. We had two finalists, and a third wild card, I found out, had approached him in the DMs. He had been having a serious conversation with, had been making a real connection with her, and he never told us about it. When I found out, I said, Ian, you need to bring her in as a wild card to protect the sanctity of, of the show. And he says, no, he refused to include her as a contestant. So mm -hmm. I said, okay, Ian, then, then the show is over. The integrity of the show is over. You're already interested in another girl. She came at you uh, through uh, private, uh, through a private, uh, she DM'd you. Uh, she circumvented the proper channels of approaching Ian. It's the chain of command. You know, you don't circumvent the chain of command. That's 101. Uh, do you know that, Ian? You do not circumvent the chain of command. Don't answer that. Wait, you'll have your turn. And so <sighs> we, had a, we had a falling out. There was huge drama, and we had a falling out, I'm going to be honest. Um, there was lots of memes even on the podcast, which I enjoyed seeing. I was happy to see that. Also, I do want to have an H3 podcast and meme corner. So if you guys enjoy these memes, keep submitting them to the H3H3 production subreddit because 
These are fantastic. Oh, wait, this came too early. <laughs> Did you see that, Ian? No, he's standing up right now, actually. Getting oh. ready to go in. Uh, so here's some of the memes. Today's podcast, when they started talking about The Bachelor, Ethan and Ela <laughs> screaming, Zach screaming, Ian crying, <laughs> and Dan. What does that convey, Dan, the cat? He was just eating the chips. Oh, yeah, shit. he was eating the chips. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. 5,000 points. I'd love to see you all engaged with the podcast. This one was that. great. Yeah, I love that, too. Let me get this scumbag off the... Let me get him off the TV. Uh, we got another one here. There was actually a lot of, of uh, powerful memes here. Here we go. The family meeting. Dan, <laughs> Mama, Papa, salaried employee, and Ian. Sacred eight bachelor rules. That's right. That's right. And then got the sea salt vinegar. Oh, yeah. they. I, how could I forget? They photoshopped the chips in for Dan. <laughs> oh, man. That's great. And then, finally, <laughs> we have another one. Um, here we go. DM girl, Ian, H3 dating show contestant. <laughs> Which is spot on, Ian. How do you respond to this? Well, you're going to have to call him in. Yeah, mm -hmm. okay. Why don't you come in already, Ian, while I'm looking at these memes. And uh, here comes Ian, the salaried employee. So there is that. <laughs> He's made one dollar from this show. Officially. <laughs> and then we had an honorable mention unrelated to the drama about another meme I wanted to uh, give love to. This is a meme that referenced how I say nobody's listening. <laughs> it says, nobody's listening. To the, uh, p what, past 45 minutes, Ethan, impossible. <laughs> well, that's true. We're about that moment now. So <laughs> thank you to everyone who stuck around it. There's probably nobody listening anyway, but let's push on. <laughs> so Ian says, comes to me, now we found a way to squash the beef. Now, Ian, how are you feeling after our last episode? Uh, level with me. Uh, I'm ready for this all to be over. <laughs> like, really bad. So, I've drafted up a contract that essentially requires this to be Fully done mm. and never mentioned again. Okay. So if you want to just take a look at that, I okay. will. I haven't seen this before. Okay. But the uh, what Ian approached me with, and I just want to stress that this isn't my idea, mm -hmm. and I would never propose this to poor young Ian. You do. were so excited. You jumped well, on it instantly. Yeah, sure. I mean, you brought it. <laughs> I wouldn't. I would never put you up to it. I was backed into a corner a little bit. I think. I. I not really. <laughs> I mean, not you. You did you not propose this to me? Because yes or no? I figured. Yes or no? <laughs> I had to come with something. Okay. That you guys would accept, <coughs> and this seems. And to we be, did. And you did. I had to. It was a. Did you propose it? Yes yeah. or no? Okay. You had to come up with an offer we couldn't exactly. resist. Exactly. It had to be tantalizing. Ian said to me. He said, <laughs> "If you promise not to ever, if you promise to drop that bachelor." Uh, se season of Ian in, in the, uh, Ian the well, salary employee. Well, that's agreement. Well, I haven't seen it yet. I have a feeling I'll be making some amendments to this. No, it's we'll fairly, see. you know, it's fairly fair? straightforward. Okay, yeah, yeah. I don't have my lawyer here. I might have to uh, forward this. I think, just don't even read it. I think you should just sign it. <laughs> no, come on. Impossible. I've been <laughs> anyway, he says to me, if I eat a jar of mayonnaise, mm -hmm. will you leave this alone? I said, Ian... And never talk about it again. I said, Ian, I love you. Right, that was part yes, of the deal. Yes, that's part of the conversation. And I accept your terms. <laughs> I knew you would. But, but here's where it gets a little... Already we have but some conflict. Uh, well, hold on. We're all dying to read... I'm sure This are. is all outlined in the contract. Okay. He comes at me <laughs> with... And again, with this tiny jar. He went and chose oh, a tiny jar. <laughs> now, Z by the way... <laughs> Zach has already set the precedent for what eating a jar of mayonnaise is on this show. We have precedential. We have a precedent for what a jar of mayonnaise means. It's a full size jar. So you come at me with this little shit. By the way, best foods. This is the real deal. This is good mayonnaise. This isn't even like off brand. Okay. Uh huh. I'm going to accept it because I'm going to accept it on a technicality. Um, it is a jar. It's a By jar. Definition. It's glass. It's a jar. Mm -hmm. But what I'm going to tell you right now, Ian, is that if you don't finish this jar, then the terms are not accepted. Because uh, I'm giving you this <laughs> tiny jar, and you're already kind of grounds for dropping this deal already with this. Mm. I think that we need to work this out through the contract. Yep. So let me pass this to you. Let me look over. Yeah, that's for you. Okay. And again, this was your idea. I just do want to stress that. 
<laughs> wow, that's a lot of. Uh, Whoa. That's a lot of text. Okay. Common <laughs> Sans. You got Bachelor Sans. with a no sign over it. The <laughs> signee of this document hereby agrees to immediately cease all discussion regarding the pilot season segment of The Bachelor <laughs> mm-hmm. and various topics related to said subject matter. These topics may include such designations as Australian Girl, Idaho Girl, Wild Card, and other affiliations. So, can I not reference it? It, it. N- I'd prefer you not to. That language was pretty clear. It's pretty cut and dry. <laughs> and I will, I will bring that up if if I feel like. Do you have a remedy if I do bring it up? Oh, I pulled the plug. You, you just end the. <laughs> the show is over. I have that power in the back. Okay, let's let's true. continue. In exchange, the party in Hold question. Hold on, is Dan eating chips right now? Just curious. Oh, I wish. Okay. No, no chips. Zach, can you go grab me some? <laughs> you guys Chip. have to set up shots where Dan's eating chips and then <laughs> switch to Dan. <laughs> this ca- uh, in exchange, the party in question, now known as Ian the Salaried Employee, will attempt to consume a jar of mayonnaise purchase at his own discretion. This contract does hmm, not attempt. stipulate a full consumption of the jar, hmm. and the contract is not invalidated if the jar is not fully consumed, but rather must be honored upon reasonable endeavor of full jar depletion. Now, I, is that at my discretion? The uh, a full jar uh, if the attempt if is made. If you've made a good faith okay. attempt, do you feel like it's a good try. To finish the jar, <laughs> yes, exactly. Then I, at my discretion, I can say the con- the agreement has been fulfilled. And I executed. think I don't. I don't trust you. I think at Ela's discretion. I think is you won't take four bites. You're gonna you're gonna quit after four bites. I'm Zach. Zach thinks he's mayo hotshot now. <laughs> that now, you Ela, got nothing I, on me. Yes, I agree. If I that... invest this power in you, Ela, can I trust you yes. to fulfill a good faith effort? Yes. Okay, then we both agree that Ela will be the arbiter of this agreement. Okay, deal. I accept. Okay, but rather must be honored upon. Okay, yada yada yada. This contract is not dependent on stabilized devouring, <laughs> stabilized devouring of said mayonnaise. And in the circumstance of involuntary bodily ejection of substance consumed, the contract is still valid and all points must remain here too. That's fine. Yes, yeah, so you if I do vomit, it. Yeah, it, fine. the contract still stands. <laughs> I'm fine with that. Okay. This agreement does not require minimal ounce requirements, and the size of the jar is not relevant to the requested lined out. You mean? Yes. This okay. jar is accepted. Do you agree to those terms? Yeah, I'm fine with these. Actually. All right. Well, here, here's a. Plan. But well, one one point we do need to, I think, <laughs> make go ahead and just sign to just get sign clarity it. on, mm-hmm. is I think like <laughs> we can refer. I think we can reference this whole thing in retrospect, not continuing the drama or inquiring further, but like referring to it as something that has happened as a historical moment on the show. You can say that it exists. We can as reference it as a historical uh, moment how on the ca- show. How are we allowed to reference but the, you it cannot, the Bachelor pilot season? You can say there was a pilot season. The pilot scene did fail. Here's where. I'll, here's what I'll. You cannot it. compel me <laughs> to further elaborate. That's any what of I'll do. Okay. I will agree to this. I will not inquire <laughs> about any of your relationships with Australian Girl, Idaho Girl, or Wild Card <laughs> on the show, or anybody. No relationships. Yeah, no, this I won't. I, I can talk about it, but I won't <laughs> compel you to further talk about it. You can't slander me on it anymore. Slander you? What's that? I mean, that's. I disagree with some of the, you know, paintings that were made of my character, but. Like what? We're not gonna. This is. We're done. What we're finished. No, I wanna know. Here. What, I got what? a piece. So I am bad. not engaging on this. I'm about to eat mayonnaise. <laughs> okay, but I. To just, avoid these I can talk about it, but I can't <laughs> compel you to speak. I will not. Uh, compel you to to speak further. You can say to the extent that the segment may have failed in certain ways that you believe, mm-hmm. uh-huh. but that's it. No slander. more. How are you going to prove slander? I'd have to consult with my lawyer. These are you're you're altering Slander's the contract. hard to prove. Yes, I am altering the contract. Mm. Ian, let's remember who's. <coughs> I mean, let's remember uh, what's what. This is your idea. This is I'm my about to show. Take a bite. This is our segment that you ruined. That's not true, but I don't even want to engage in that conversation anymore. <laughs> I'm out. Okay. Okay. So I, will I need not, you both to sign this. But hold on, I need and to then make I an will amendment. Start eating. I need to make an amendment. I don't think you. Should. Well, here we don't need to amend. We have a verbal agreement. We can reference this. I will not compel you to speak about 
this experience or any of the girls, mm -hmm. I do not and agree to not slander no you. No continued. I will slander you. No, no, no <laughs> continued drama creating. It's what has I, happened. We'll let it be. We'll let it yes, be. Yes, we'll let I it I can lie. talk about it as a historical moment, but I will let okay. it be. I will let it be. So okay. I agree here. Ethan, Klein, that's my signature. I okay. will date it and, I, and uh, if, 10, 22. And I'm going to need Ela to sign on the second line if you could. Oh, Thank you. Does this call make sense? It, it, the best font. Wow. Hands down. I think that's that's the, how you know I'm you serious. Sign? That is Did my you? signature, yes. Did you date? No, not yet. It does say effective as of today. Do we need a um Do we need notary? a notary? Yeah. Yeah. We need your thumbprint. <laughs> we can get that afterwards. We can have so we cannot say Australia girl, Idaho girl. <coughs> nope. No, we can, wild no. Card. we can talk about all these things, but we cannot compel it further. We will no, let it live. you can't talk about these yeah. people. I these okay. terms here, they are gone. I understand. Okay. All right? It, yeah, non-existent. Now, you have to make a good faith effort now. <laughs> can we pipe in some music or something here for the big moment? <laughs> God damn it. This is going to be so gross. <laughs> That's a tiny jar, bro. You really should this finish that. This is a few spoonfuls. Spool you spool. should really finish that entire jar. Like, you can't take that clause as a bitch out to not eating that whole thing. I'm I'm going to do a good faith attempt. But that, no, I see, I don't like that. You already agreed. It's you signed. have it's to signed. fucking, sign. I disagree. Okay, just eat it. Eli, you're the judge. Eat it the damn man. Eli I was disagree. the arbiter here. Okay. Yes. Go ahead. Right, I'm, I'll, going I'm gonna in take a step back. It's all you, Ian. <laughs> just, just get, just jump in like cold water. Oh my god! Like a band aid. You got this. Hold on. Good. He knocked that down. That was good. I love that eating mayonnaise is the benchmark of punishment on this show. Somehow. Talk to me. That's fucking disgusting. That's awful. You seem like in pretty good shape, though. If I, oh god, I can't puke in here. It's all right. We got not here. four bites. I put the trash can over by your chair. Oh, you did. Oh, you yeah, did. Oh, I was ready. Dan, Dan's, Dan, you really do think of everything. You're a great producer. Thank you, Dan. You're in good oh, shape, so oh. don't even think. That was about a that. big oh. bite. Yeah, oh. Ethan. I'm just saying he's in good shape. He's Zach doing did, good. Yeah. Come on. Okay. You can't let Zach have this. <laughs> I'm not. Here. I'm not. Look, I'm not. <laughs> he's no, doing I'm saying great. That Ian. Yeah, he's doing I encourage great. Encourage him here. Yeah, you're doing great. You're right. I you're should encourage it. you. You're Nailed doing it, fucking dude. awesome. You're knocking those down. I'm you're making it. You're putting Zach to shame, bro. <laughs> Actually, oh, come you on. Are. Did Zach drink Zach, water? Honestly, Did we have liquid here. You can have water. I think I need some water. Bring in some water, stat. Yeah. yeah. Some water. Here. Oh well, yeah. God. Do you want my water? No, don't give it. <laughs> yeah. You want some Lacroix? Your favorite? No. No, no water. that will make water. me water. Just water. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Ahead. You're I'm doing feeling awesome. my stomach I mean, is. You're probably it. getting pretty low there. But I mean, Zach, you're, you're having some real competition here. Zach, what are you thoughts? Not gonna lie. He, he's grabbing the water. He's grabbing the water. He's hooking it up. It's so, so eggy and nasty. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> you're doing great, man. Keep it up. I'm proud of you. This is truly awful to watch. <laughs> Zach, go, go. Get back in the mic. I want to hear from you. Yeah, I need Zach's opinion on my <laughs> technique here. Does the nose pinching help? I, I don't think so. Yeah. <laughs> okay, what do you need? What do you need? Well, what do you think about this? Because he's actually making a really good. I'm, I think I'm, he's got a shot of finishing the jar. I'm very proud of him. But I'm the after so queasy right now. <laughs> the after I'm, you look strong terrible. though. He can't I'm quit right now. So hard not to puke. You can't allow him to quit right now. How many bites are you in? I think three. I think like three. Fat I ones. think you're almost done. So you there's like two more there's bites like in there. Three quarters. The jar. If you gone. if you scrape the sides and get just like. Let's see the jar. more big bites, and you can just consider you can you can move on with the wild card girl in, and you can just live happily <laughs> in, <laughs> in your private life. Is it hitting you in the, the bottom thing? of the stomach? Or I'm feeling it. That's right a in that's here, a good bite like in my throat. Oh yeah, it's sliming down the, the throat. Smell, <laughs> it's the smell that'll get you. Keep an eye on that. You're jiggling everywhere. <laughs> Fucking hell. You're doing great. This man. is so I'm, gross. I'm super impressed, bro. <laughs> Bite number four. Is Dan gonna do this to it? Um, Honestly, he should. Yeah, the on I was just thinking I was just thinking I'm gonna have to do this eventually Honestly. when I fuck up. Oh yeah. This is the way to solve everything. <laughs> Dan is laughing, I was Ian, loud, are, Eli, enjoying you... his time <laughs> watching everything everyone. Is he, Dan, you're not eating chips? <laughs> Ian, you're doing great. Man. Bite number four. Ian is—he's getting in there. Bite number four. That was a big scoop too. Let me see what you got left. 
gross. Ugh, it's struggling. <laughs> it is so disgusting. It's gonna so. hit you in the tonsils. <laughs> so there's like, I would I mean, there's still a good amount in here, but I mean, there's definitely like three, I would say three fourths gone. Yeah, definitely. There, oh, that smell is strong, boy. <laughs> <laughs> What's the baby jar though? Hey, I, please I, make me stop. Well, also Zach, <laughs> if I recall, had like a big ass serving spoon. Which I ate half. I ate half of the bigger one. Yeah. This is still a good. This is a few sandwiches worth here. Yeah. No. <laughs> Take one like, more bite. That's easily like <laughs> one more bite, and can I be done? No. One more two big more bites. bites. Two more bites. Come on. Because if he can well, do Ethan one. Well, Ethan is not the judge. But yeah, Eli, you take oh. a look. Uh, you said a fair attempt. Let me just say, Eli. No. If he can do one more bite, then he can do two. Well, by that, let's just keep going. No, I'm saying if he says he's got one more bite in him, then he's got two. That's a good faith effort. I'm not gonna lie to you, Ian. You're gonna you're gonna puke later. Fuck. I'm not gonna Is lie. Is that one salt Zach, bite encourage left. him. There are, like, one is the majority, and then there's like another little one, but. Ela, he can do it. And you can do it. She seems to be accepting one bite. She didn't give a verdict. I'm we, accepting one bite. Try but it, make sure it's big. Let's see the it's, size. It's of it. pretty much gone. Okay, that's a which big is bite. insane. It's pretty much empty. Well, not honestly, oh. I think you ate more than Zach did. Hold on, what are you doing? Oh. You with getting, this? I'm bite. getting. I'm getting a. Okay. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Get that in there. Oh. Get that in there before it falls. Hurry. hurry. <laughs> oh, oh shit. shit. Okay. <laughs> 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 Don't plug your nose. Do you Just really think he ate more than Zach? I do. Oh, I gotta plug my nose. I got it. Nope. Yeah. Do he it. He can plug his nose, Zach. Nailed it, nailed it. Good job, Ian. I'm proud of you, man. You earned this. Whoa. You earned uh -oh. this, dude. Proud of you, kid. You earned this. You earned this, baby. Unbelievable. The culmination of the Bachelor Season 1 pilot comes to an end with Ian <laughs> eating a small <laughs> jar of mayonnaise. Who could have seen this coming, folks? What a Nobody. twist. Nobody. You never know what's uh, going to happen in The Bachelor. Uh, you might find true love, and you might find the inside of a Best Foods mayonnaise jar. <laughs> so congratulations to Ian. <laughs> We're very proud All of right. him. All right. I can't believe you did this. <laughs> I'm taking this. Talk to me. How are you feeling? Wait, don't step out yet. Talk, talk to I me. I feel really gross. I feel like a, I feel like a, you know. Did you have trouble with that last so bite? Bad. That one was hitting me. Does it hit go down uh, easy or like does it stick? I'm in your getting throat? like little. You're gonna puke. I'm tasting it so strong. Really? You're yeah. gonna puke. Now, do you like? I, I feel like a sandwich right now. It's just <laughs> lathered up on you my. You better inside. go eat some bread and meat to, uh, to balance your stomach. That was really gross. <laughs> <laughs> the smell alone is awful. Okay, I gotta go. All right, thank you. Well, no that was amazing, yeah, and right. thank you. I appreciate this. You're lucky, Elo was the judge. Thank you, Elo. <laughs> I'll get this out of here. <laughs> but but I mean you you definitely made a good faith effort. You didn't bitch out. I'll I'll give you that credit. So so there you go. Mom's the word on the Bachelor. And I want to stress to everyone who thinks I'm being cruel or let's say oh oh you're bought you're not allowed to make your employees eat mayonnaise as a punishment. Mm -hmm. Well, it was his idea. <laughs> okay. Can uh -oh. we get a shot of Ian? I hear him coughing backstage. Can we get any updates? How's he? Oh, he's fine. He's fine. Yeah, he's fine. Cool. That was exciting. Is this the best show on earth or what? Do we do we always have something going on here in the HG Podcast Studio? This is the greatest show ever made. <laughs> I'll, true. I'll say that every time. You don't need to sound bite <laughs> me. Okay, excellent. Well, thank you. Uh, welcome back, Zach. Thank We're you. We're happy thank to have you. Thank and you for having me, Ian. Uh, how was your break? I happen yeah. to know. Oh, not for me, for Zach. I was clapping. Oh. Ian, now tell me, uh, <laughs> who is this? Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. You posted this on Instagram publicly, so and then you also put the description, <laughs> as you guys can see. I'll zoom. Is uh, <laughs> playing cards. It's uh, cryptic, but not that cryptic. It's uh, it's all of the the playing card suits, which hmm. would indicate <clears throat> possibly that this girl here is the wild card. We're really coming in hot. This episode, <laughs> right the well, I'm just trying to fill everyone in. You know, uh, this is my girlfriend. Uh, Ooh. Uh, <laughs> Ooh. Wow. Can we confirm that this is the wild card? I mean, it kind of speaks yeah. with the caption. Yeah. You know. So this is the girl, huh? Who ruined the? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so wow, she's very pretty. Uh, congratulations, Ian. She looks very so, nice. By the she's way, sweet. the bachelor kind of worked. 
It did work. I mean, it did work in a indirectly. way. Indirectly. Yeah. yeah. Indirectly, Not indirectly. But maybe directly. <laughs> Extremely <laughs> directly. Yeah, but this is, a, this is a, do you guys understand this? The Bachelor, Ian has a girlfriend. <laughs> from the, we did it. The Bachelor worked. Not in the way that we anticipated, but it did work. Yeah. There was a little, she went beyond the chain of command a yes. little bit. But, it, no, it worked out great. I'm she very sees happy. power. Yeah. yeah. Very happy. Yes. It's fantastic. She's and wonderful. So she She sees the Ian's of production. <laughs> so she is from she's not in, in in state, right? No. No, she's not here. And you guys have but plans of uh we're, uniting and uh We're we're making it making it work. I was there over break mm-hmm. visiting her and she visited me over break. Mm. I'm going back nice. next month. Oh she's coming back the month after. Wow. So we've got it all. Do we're, you guys, we're going for it. how often are you guys on the phone? Like every day. You Aww. you text her throughout the day? And calling. Mm. That's a good. He's so smitten. He walks into the <laughs> office every morning with a smile. Why aren't you thanking <laughs> me? I don't understand. I'm always gushing about her. Like, why am I still getting shit from you? Why aren't you thanking me? This wouldn't be without me. <laughs> Can like, we remove I feel the like contract? I'm s- like, what's... You actually broke the contract you, by... Yeah. by <laughs> Saying what well, you said. Well, I'm surprised Ian didn't try to bring up the contract because I was ready to go to war. <laughs> no, I'm not in war mode anymore. I'm just, okay. You're just I'm at happy. peace. Okay. You're happy. Sorry. You're in love. Yeah, it's going. Are you so in love? We can, so we can tear the contract. Yeah. He's in love. <laughs> you can. No tearing needs to happen. <laughs> but I think I think we have to keep it for posterity. <laughs> I mean, I'm happy to talk about what I'm up to. Things okay. like that. It's good. So you guys are on the phone. Would you ever send her a dick pic? This is for me to know and you to never find out. <laughs> so I take that as a yes, because I've never sent a dick pic, although my, I feel like my, we're I like aged older. out. I aged yeah. out of that. You so. should try Zach? it. That would be kind of spicy, right? Do you no. send, I mean, is no? it a thing? <laughs> um, <laughs> it's a thing, right? I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Know. No, it's definitely a thing. We're but old. Would you send a dick pic, uh, Zach? Uh, um, Go ahead. It, it. Be honest. I haven't done it. <laughs> Go ahead, Zach. I feel like it's, a yes. it. <laughs> it's fine. Only, only. Pick. I've only done it. <laughs> what are you worried about? Who is listening? It, no, stop. Go ahead, Zach. Tell okay. the truth. Come on. We're all. Uh, all. Yes, I've sent a dick pic. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> and so, what was it that uh, you seem conflicted about doing so? I wouldn't. I I wouldn't send a dick pic to someone like I'm just talking to. Yes, like a, a consenting uh, uh, recipient. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. But I I've only sent to my current girlfriend. Oh, okay, good. And was it at her request or was that your prerogative? <laughs> It it was. <laughs> was it unsolicited? Did you just no, 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 no. It was. It was I, I don't know how to phrase this. Um, hmm. it, it got hot and heavy. Okay, you know? okay. Uh, it was reciprocated. Yeah, it yeah, was a whole thing. Yeah, so, yeah. Ela, if you were like upstairs doing your thing, your the phone things, ring, yeah. your dings, it's a dick pic from Ethan. Would yeah. you feel flattered by this? <laughs> how would you feel? I think. Go ahead. Y'all let you answer. I don't know. I feel like my first reaction would just be like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, what, well, what am I supposed to do with that? Because, well, first of all, um, first of all, we're always together. The need to be transmitting pictures of my penis is, is yeah. minimal. Second of all, the expectation for dick pics not there. Third of all, I'm afraid of my dick being on the internet. <laughs> so, so you for me, you think she'll leak no, it? but you never know. <laughs> no, I mean, you look at the apple paranoid. shit. Look at this. You never, you don't know who's gonna. <laughs> You're right. We're you know both I mean? super paranoid. Would I would never yeah. have any. Basically, the minute I take a picture of my dick, you better just expect that it's gonna be on Twitter. Yeah, <laughs> and I don't want that. <laughs> that. That's our set of mind. Like, we yeah, just that's fair. Treat that's it fair. as that. So it wouldn't be I would the fappening. It'd be the the foopening. Yeah, nobody wants to see that for sure. When did I'm? But but besides that, I I am. We, I feel like we just didn't grow up having those be part of our culture, so I'm just mm-hmm. confused by the Because you guys never did dating situation. apps or anything. No, yeah. I've never been on a dating app. missed all that yeah. whole type of thing. Yeah. I, now, I'm not saying that there, I, I'm not like, I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'd send a dick pic, yeah. you know, if and the moment why? was right. Like, do you return, like, does the girl return something? Yes. <laughs> I think it depends on the situation, yeah. <laughs> yeah, ideally the girl returns something. Yeah. I think the- Is it a boob shot or a vag shot? Because, I mean- <laughs> 
how did how far did it go? <laughs> Zach, what was uh, it? <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm not gonna comment. Okay, that's fair. So Zach has been sexting. God bless. <laughs> <laughs> Sex. Do you do you think that the the age of the dick pic was created with these new apps like Tinder? Bumble? I think just um, smartphones. Just yeah. the ability to send images like that. Okay. Z- uh, Ian has been in love. Congratulations. The wild Thank card. You. She ruined the show, but she uh, <laughs> built your heart. Yes. So we congratulate sure. you. Both. I look forward to meeting her someday. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure you will. Good. Me too. I hope so. And Dan, talk to me. Well, what, what's what been going on with you? Not much. I went traveling too. So <clears throat> President's Day came. Everybody had a nice long weekend. Ian, as I understand it, spent the weekend with the wild card out in uh, wherever they are. I'm not going to say uh, where they are. Mm-hmm. They might be here. They might be uh, somewhere <laughs> else. Who knows? Ian, how was your date? Uh, it was great. A lot of fun. I uh, got back yesterday. It was nice little little vacay. Have you guys consummated the relationship? No, that is not Christ-like. Not cool. I'm offended you'd even say that, actually. Yeah, that's that's pretty messed up, dude. What? Yeah. You guys... You know about Ian's faith. Yes. Yeah. Deep. His faith in Kanye. <laughs> <laughs> oh, are you saying because, you, because you're a fan of Kanye that you've gone devout? Or is that just you're making a joke? You don't want to talk about your sex life? I'm just saying, man. What base? God One, is two, watching. three. Always. Yeah, you... We love you, Kanye! I think he's, I think he's hit a homer. <laughs> I'm sure of it. Well, good for you. She sounded very happy when I spoke. To, I spoke to her. <clears throat> I'm talking to Ian about work, and I say, <clears throat> "Say hi to." Uh, can I say her name, Ian? Wildcard's fine. Wildcard. I can't say her name. Her name <laughs> is Wildcard. Okay, that is legally her name. So I say, "Say hi to Wildcard," because uh, she helped Ian with something he worked on. I say, "Tell her thank you and uh, wish her well." And he goes, "Oh, well, she can hear you. She's on speaker." <laughs> he had me on speaker the whole time. <laughs> Ian had me on speaker. I was having an elaborate conversation about work, and he had me on speaker for the whole time with Wildcard in the room with him. <laughs> I was like, bro, you had me on speaker the whole time? What? I mean, what are you thinking, Ian? Not only is it rude to a normal person, but I'm a celebrity. You can't just speakerphone me. <laughs> you, already, you signed an NDA. You signed an NDA. She didn't sign an what NDA. What kind of classified stuff were you guys uh, It doesn't matter. About. Everything I say is privileged. <laughs> Well, okay, so I wasn't planning on having a full phone call with you. I'd called you because I needed a a code to access a certain account. And so I had you on speaker to type in the code, and then you continued the conversation, which was very lovely. It's always nice to chat. Uh, But then I did not switch off the speaker. So Ian is saying he did not expect you to chit-chat. I wasn't chit chat. We were talking about work. You were just going on and on about how how's your day, how's the weather, <laughs> all that chill. stuff. And I'm like, I gotta go. Wow. You're doing shtick, but what you <laughs> actually did is you didn't click the speaker button. <laughs> I will pick tell up you the though, phone. I lift when your the boss, phone. who you respect, <laughs> is talking to you about privilege information that you've signed to NDA. I did lift the phone and I carried it into another room. <clears throat> But then I walked back and said, oh, here she is. Is that That's what happened? I, yes. Because when I was on the speaker and I said, Sam. <laughs> wait, um, who's Sam? I, That's, do you, I just outed her. <laughs> <laughs> you can't, I can't be juggling. I'll, I'll go back to wildcard. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll bleep you in post. It doesn't matter. It's all right. All right. I'm pretty sure I've said her name already on the show. <laughs> but no, I was. I, I, but but I, when I asked her, I says, Sam. <laughs> Just uh, hammer it in there, really. I said, uh, "Let's throw out I her said, social security What do you think? I said, "What do you think about the fact that Ian has me on speaker?" And she said, "I gotta be honest. I was a little thrown off when he put you on speaker. I thought it was rude." She told me, and I was uh, like, "She still got it." Wow, did she really say that? Yeah, she was goofing. Yeah. She was goofing. No, I was like, "Well, I my respect points went up for a big time." Yeah, I was like, "I was like, Ian, you're out." Sam is in. (laughs) I could feel the lull of the conversation, and then I walked back into the room as that happened at the same time. I would not breach your trust like that. Come on. Come Mm -hmm. on. Well, I I do feel a kinship to Sam, and I do feel like she's part of the circle of the trust, but you got to 
Dude, come on. What if I told you about... Um, now, nah, well, who am I kidding? There's no. <laughs> also, we can all attest you are a big speakerphone guy with all three of us. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm the especially, boss. Especially when like Shredder is like right next to your phone. Yeah, but I'm barking. the boss. There's, you got uh, everything. Everything I decide what's privileged. <laughs> Ethan, there was the hardest I have ever seen Ian laugh in my entire life yeah. was one time when you had. You were talking to us, and you had speaker on in the car with the window down. Shredder was barking in the back, and you were slurping the drink. It was like the most chaotic conversation I've ever had in my entire life. I and wish, we like crying I wish yeah. that I had a recording I know, I because I really you guys too. were crying, fine. but like you can hear Dan laugh, but Ian, you can't really hear when he's laughing. I guess because just wheezing is why. <laughs> well, I, just like, I, I wish that on? I could have seen it. Yeah. <laughs> I had to hand the phone to Dan because I could not physically speak. I just lost it. No respect. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. I was just I asked what is going on over there because I didn't know anything funny was happening at all. Okay, well, Ian, <clears throat> Ian had a good weekend. It's good to be back. It's good to be back. It's good to have you back. I appreciate that. Thank you. <laughs> Another funny thing that happened. All right, Ian. Are you angry? Oh my God, I'm just so freaking angry. <laughs> so much. Freaking. Oh shit, bro. That bottle, that bottle didn't even break. I feel pretty good. Stop, dude, that bottle didn't even break, Ian. Step it up. <laughs> bro, you can't go, what's going on, Ian? Show the rage. <laughs> there you go. Fuming. Hey, actually, the printer, nothing even happened to it. Maybe you can try. Okay, Ian, for Elo, let's see what you got for the printer. <laughs> yes! <laughs> what? It keeps going right at you. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. There it is. Ah. Pretty good review for HP. <laughs> <laughs> Love. Love you. Love, love, love. Wait, don't stick. Don't help him. He's got to learn to do this on his own. Love, you've got to, love, love, you've got to learn to do this on your own, dude. Your helmet's off. I can't help you. It's not safe. Love, you've got to learn to balance yourself. We can't help you. We're trying here. All right, love. Come on, get your shit together. We're trying to break shit. All right, you're good. You're free. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ian. Ian, please stand up. I'm standing. Please stand up, Ian. Sammy, you wanna go eat shit while you're out here? Let's fucking go! Oh, oh damn! <laughs> Sam and I have, have got high together one time and it was so traumatizing. Really? We never will again. We went and saw the Sonic movie. <laughs> you thought, well, you went out of the house uh, and thought about it. Wait, yeah. I like weed high or something? Yeah, it was inedible. Mm. Yeah. Oh, look at you. yeah, it's different. And we hadn't tried this specific one before. And uh, yeah, it came out on Valentine's Day. <laughs> so we were like, oh, this will be kind of a funny thing. And like 90 seconds in, I just look over and Sam's gone. <laughs> and nice I go power. out. And Yeah, I go out into like the lobby and she's just wandering around looking like super terrified. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> and I I go up, I'm like, are you okay? What's going on? And she's like, he's he's so fast. He's no so way. fast. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, it's okay. It's all right. We'll be fine. And Sam, she, you wanna come comment on this? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure she doesn't want to get into it, but No, that's okay. Um Yeah, and I tried to calm her down, but then as she was telling me how fast Sonic was, I started freaking out. <laughs> yeah, and he is fast. He is fast as fuck boy. Yeah, and we we sat at one of those benches like when you head to the auditorium, just like 
grabbing each other. Seriously? Like, each other. We were like, it's fine. It's okay. What? Oh, my we're good. God. Was that some, some gummies or I some shit? Really yeah. That. I'm not sure what Did exactly. Did you guys not just fail, or you sat, sat there just thinking about how fast Sonic was for a minute? <laughs> we, we, were, we sat there a little too long, uh -huh. I think, and then we just went and sat in the car for, like, hours just trying to, like, <laughs> wait it out. Holy You know what would yeah. probably help that high? If you guys watch the J Station Sonic EXE video. <laughs> oh, <laughs> a good point. Kind of purred. So what yeah. was it about Sonic Speed that got that put you in that funk? <laughs> I, I don't know. He's just blurry. He's it's so and the theater was like pretty much sold out. So we were like in the in the front, oh, right, where the screen's like right above so you. You fast. know? Yeah, he's so fast, <laughs> dude. Holy shit, bro! There are horror videos on like TikTok about Sonic killing you. I've seen those in the. And he always is too slow when he kills you. Why? What? Why is yeah. everything about Sonic so <laughs> Yeah, can we not weird? talk? Can, why is everything coming down to Sonic? Like, nobody even cares. <laughs> what the frick? What, what the, the frick? frick? Love, you have one you wanted to show? Wait, Love did Dan finish no, the I didn't, story? Oh, I Dan, didn't even start oh, what mine. What the hell? What happened? Why are we talking about Sonic? Yeah. I don't know. Go ahead, Dan. Stand up, Dan. <laughs> Dan, stand, stand up. up. Shredder's looking. Do I need stand to get up? up? So anyway, we were all like, we're going to see Sonic and see how bad it is. So Ian, listen to this. This is amazing. You saw Sonic. Without taking a bite of your burger, tell me what you thought of it. <laughs> yes. Um, it was a good kids movie. I mean, it wasn't, didn't blow me away. Kids anything, movie? But... Look yeah, how young we look. Movie. Isn't that crazy? How long ago was this? Uh, we all look younger. It was, look how young it's just, we are. It was right before the pandemic. Yeah, it was only like a year a ago. Yeah, the Sonic movie we came out in February of 2020. Dude, we have aged a lot <laughs> yeah, in that short time. I mean, we've been through, we've well, been I through the apocalypse in the last year. Wow. I still had hair a year ago. Uh, I actually didn't end up seeing it. Oh. Mm. Did you buy tickets in Naco? Uh Yes, that's correct. <laughs> so you paid. You contributed to this. <laughs> Yeah, I did. Notice I was confused because yeah. he said he bought tickets. Could tell something was off. We knew he bought tickets, but he says I didn't go. But they came out now, just in the pre last week. Ian told a story about. Well, do we have a clip to that story or a timestamp? Oh no, but um, I he, grab it. Yeah, Ian told a story about how him and his girlfriend Sam, who also works for us now. Uh, went to Sonic High and had panic attacks. <laughs> Sam said to Ian, he's so fast. <laughs> and they both cradled each other in the parking lot. And just, uh, so, so we found out, Ian, I don't know if you want to speak on this, but people put the dots together that you were lying <laughs> about seeing S Sonic because you were so embarrassed about Sonic tripping you guys out from being so fast. Ian, they... The H3 foot soldiers are very thorough. <laughs> like, how did they even remember that? I don't know. I don't I didn't. know. I That's saw so po crazy. Dude, I saw a post and I was like, <laughs> oh, this is the best. Ian, please stay Yo, you got, I got to actually give a shout out to everyone on the, on the H3 H3 production subreddit. Y'all have been absolutely on fire lately. Oh, yeah. Names. Ian, please stand up. Here's the clip that exposed Ian. Here, listen what he, what he said last week. Sam and I have, have got high together one time, and it was so traumatizing. Really? We never will again. We went and saw the Sonic movie. <laughs> you oh, really? Oh, you went yeah. out of the house uh, and saw Sonic? Wait, yeah. I like weed high or something? Yeah, it was inedible. Mm. Yeah. Oh, look at you. yeah, it's different. And we hadn't tried this specific one before. And, uh, yeah, it came out on Valentine's Day. <laughs> so we were like, oh, this will be kind of a funny thing. And, like... 90 seconds in, I just look over and Sam's gone. And <laughs> I go out and yeah, I go out into like the lobby and she's just wandering around looking like super terrified. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> and I I go up, I'm like, "Are you okay? What's going on?" And she's like, "He's he's so fast." <laughs> he's no so way. fast. <laughs> yeah. So what happened, Ian? Were you <laughs> you didn't you weren't ready to share that story with us at the time? Well, I just didn't know if she wanted that public mm. yet, mm. and that's yeah. why I wanted to check with her first in Damn, the moment. Do you, have any, do you want to comment on this or no? I think at first we were just so embarrassed. Oh, are you on a mic? No. no. Actually, oh, no. Oh, she <laughs> says, you want to go with Ian? You can talk on Ian's mic. Or if you don't want to be on camera, that's fine, too. Yeah, join Ian. So Sam is coming over to explain the uh, cover-up, the Sonic cover-up. 
By the way, Ian's shot, it looks like just a head floating. Yeah, it's so dark back then. <laughs> <laughs> so embarrassed. And I don't know. I wanted to keep it in the tuck for a while, but then we just realized <laughs> it was so funny. <laughs> <laughs> it is so funny. Yeah, I know what you mean. Sometimes you need some space on the well, event before you realize it's funny. Then we, we went into a bit of a tails spin. And you could say we're Get kind the... of knuckles heads. Oh my god. Wait, oh, you saw I that coming? You. I hate you. Because the Sonic sidekick is hey, called Knuckles. Stand up. Yeah. And Tails. Hey, and stand and up. Tails yeah. is the other one. Knuckles and Tails. Were you pre pre prepping Jesus, that? When did man. you prep that? Oh, I wrote that about four weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> about two years ago, before the pandemic. Yeah. Wow. Good job, guys. I'm glad we got the truth. Ian, don't lie to me again. How dare Please you lie to me? Up. Shame. <laughs> Shame. 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 This is kind of the ultimate. All right. You definitely want to see this. So. Wow, the serving tray. Oh, what? <laughs> Tiny hamburgers? Yes. What? Uh, what is this? Well. Oh, did you make these, Sam? Yes. Yeah, they're called Poppin' Cookin'. This is a Japanese snack, and it's DIY, so you have to build these yourself. It's like yeah, mystery. So here, look at the Sam and Ian the had like a little, uh, yeah. So you have to put a pack, mix it, make all the individual pieces. Is it supposed to taste like what it looks like? No. Oh. I <laughs> don't imagine that it tastes like a hamburger. I hope it doesn't taste like a hamburger. Yeah, I don't know what's worse. Some weird. <laughs> so here's a little French fry and ketchup too. You want to get a shot of this, Hila? Things are so cute. Look at that. The Japanese are on a whole other level when it comes to right, everything, man. This is what I'm saying. So here I've got a toy French fry, right here, Hila. So we have everything here is candy apparently. Mm -hmm. So I've got the candy French fry. I'm gonna dip in the candy ketchup. <laughs> everything looks so real. Yeah. Oh, there's pepper? No, there's, no, no, no. No, that's, so that's, that's the soda. The soda, and here's water that you make the soda with. Yes. Oh, for real? Wait, yeah. well, you got to get this, Hila. So this, right. I get a soda pop. So here it looks like pepper. Okay. So here, let me put water. Carefully, carefully. And here's my soda <laughs> pop. Is it supposed to carbonate? Oh, there it goes. Yeah, look, it's fizzy and shit. Like, why? I mean, dude, God bless their creativity, but, like, who is this for? Because <laughs> it tastes like Kids? crap. Kids. Good answer. It tastes like candy that tastes good. <laughs> but you it's gotta, so cute. So hit that soda, and let me tell you. Uh, tell us what you think. Ooh. It almost tastes like soda, but then not at all. <laughs> These fries are horrible. Is it all going to taste like that? So here's my burger, Elo. They're made out of different powders, so... I don't think we need this shot for everything. It's like... I think it helps. Does it? Because it's so small. It's like... What do you guys think? I mean, just... See it. Look at that it's like blurry. Yeah, it's blurry. Okay, here I go. Ugh. No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like this. <laughs> I don't like it. I don't like it. Okay, I'm moving on to the ice cream treat. This is pretty impressive, you guys. <laughs> Look at that. Mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't Chocolate like it. Chocolate donut. Wait. Cute. Look how cute it is. There's a hair in it, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> this one's actually good. Yeah? Really? You want to try this one? Yeah. This I one like I it. like. I like it. And I like it. Look at all the detail. Yeah. Tiny little donut? Mm -hmm. It's actually popping, that one. Yeah. It's popping. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. I like it. I'm trying one. Yeah, hit one of those. The donuts are good. Did you guys try the banana milk? No. Banana milk? This is, is this Korean? Yeah. Yeah, it's very popular, especially for kids. Okay, it's a milk that tastes like banana. I like it. I do like it, actually. Pretty good. This looks disgusting, bro. What is this one? Yeah, so that was another one that um, you had to like kind of okay, make. Maybe work it down. Sure. <laughs> what is this? Well, 
at one point it was like a, a powder, right? And it got mixed together and turned into um, what appears to be like a custard. Gross. And that's candy. Uh, lifeguard pudding online. Lifeguard? Lifeguard pudding. Lifeguard pudding. It's like a pudding. Ew. <laughs> so? Why is it like that? <laughs> Hmm. I'm processing this. No good? It looks like a really weird texture. I don't know. You're going to like this. It tastes like Smarties. That's your favorite snack. Candy, right? Is it? Smarties? When we did the candy tier list, I thought you were, like, shockingly... Maybe. Gross. You might like this because it tastes like Smarties. But that texture... That ain't right. That looks like <laughs> runny egg. <laughs> Let's skip that one. <laughs> Anything I'm just else? extra worried to eat weird stuff. Yeah, that's it. Wow. Wow. Yeah, beautiful. I know. Ela's, cra- Ela's worried that one of these is going <laughs> to yeah. have like... Uh, <clears throat> Ew, this is the, the resting place of the crab I ate, by the way. What? I spit out the crab. Ew. Yeah, horrific. <laughs> Here, I'll take it. Thank you. Can I get some more of that squid? Yeah, Thank go you, take guys. your heart out, Ian. Ian wants more squid. He's really all about that, huh? Ian, please stand up. Please stand up, Ian, with the squid. If you want the squid, you got to stand for it. Ian, please stand up. Well, thank you guys for watching through this. (laughs) Wild. Okay. Well, that was interesting, wasn't it? Yeah, that went places. All right, let's see. Uh, Up next. Hmm. Let's bring out um, Sam. Let's bring out Sam. Samantha. Sam, of course. Talented, lovely Sam, who prepared this game for us and always looking uh, perfect and good. Thank Sam, you. welcome. How are you feeling? Great. Okay. Are you high? That's not. That's not the game. I feel like you're high. You can't high. just ask. That is the game. That, I'm, I'm here to ask questions. <laughs> you just, so you can just say, are you high? Sure. Are you high? Oh, my I, God. Am I? <laughs> yes. I don't, know. I, I don't know. I don't think. I so, don't Sam, know. tell me. Um, how is this 420 going for you? It's pretty good. Nice. Good day so far. Good day so far. Are you planning on seeing the new Sonic movie? <laughs> I no. No, you're gonna skip that one. I'm gonna I'm yeah. gonna sit that one out. You I'm know, still recovering <laughs> from the first one. From the first one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I smell some kind of peppermint. What is that? Um, mm, probably gum. Oh, gum. I was chewing gum. Yeah. Okay. Everyone. Everyone. Everyone has was gum. chewing gum. Yeah. Everyone had gum. Except Dan. Well, I spit mine out before I came back, but I chewed on some. Sam, um, people, there are lots of comments saying you look very good. You've been doing like a, a diet kind of situation. I don't know if that's related, but people are riding for you in the comments. Love, Sam. Well, thank you. That's very sweet. Yeah. And I have been doing a diet situation. Do you want to talk about that? Is that okay? Uh, sure. How, mu- how much weight have you lost since when? Uh, I've lost... 11 pounds since the beginning of February. Super proud of you. I know you, that, that, that's just incredible. Thank Great you. Great job. Wonderful. How do you feel? You feel good? You feel comp- like proud and accomplished? Yeah. Good? yeah. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Do you feel high? <laughs> N- no. Have you seen your dad naked? <gasps> Oh, probably when I was really young, not in my adult life. Okay, good. Do you remember anything about his dick? No, I've no. blocked that out. Good for you. That's good. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I'm a, naked around Theodore, but like he's so he's only he's almost three. Like we'll go potty together, or or uh, he walks in on in the bedroom in the morning, and I might be naked. Yeah, yeah. But at a certain age, that's gotta. I don't I don't want him to have those images in his right. head right right so probably around like five or i don't know five what do you think is a good age for him to stop seeing me naked hmm 24 <laughs> when does like the when does like the frontal lobe develop 
That's a good question. Can somebody look that up? I actually want, I need to have a strategy for this because I do not want my poor children to have that, those memories. I don't think I remember anything before I was like seven. It yeah. says the frontal lobe develops when you're 25 years old oh, and no, you should stop no. showing Never your mind. culture in your day at not five. Till, no, Wait, no. 25? That seems really <laughs> late. So I still got another year, dude. <laughs> 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 you can still got another year Never of mind. enjoying seeing your dad's cock. <laughs> Amen, dude. <laughs> Amen, Todd. Oh Zach, does your dad have a nickname for his cock? I'm sorry to go off topic, but I feel like he's oh, the type of dude to have a nickname for it. No, nah, never a nickname. I've given a nickname with my friends, though. What's that? Thor's Hammer. Nice. All right. Melanor. Thank you. I know too much about Zach's dad. Yeah, yeah, we've all learned too much. Are you talking about outside of this interview? You Do you know stuff? No, I just learned a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So the, the, the poll, a lot of people are saying you're high, 62%. How do you feel about that? That's very interesting. Now, 4% uh, cr said crossfaded, and I have to remind you guys, there's just, there's just one of each, right? And then... No, there can be more than one of each. S but there's one, definitely at least one of each. There's we're, up to two of each, right? Yeah, I will say that. They're, we're covering yeah. the, the full spectrum here. Okay, okay, got it. Um, so, okay, very good. Oh. <laughs> What's your, what are you watching lately? What are you enjoying in life? Hmm. I haven't really been... What's 27 minus 3? 24. What's 24 times 3? Oh my god. Um, I don't know. I think it's in, in the 70s range. Mm-hmm. 72. Very good. What's 72 minus 21 plus 5? <laughs> 72 minus 21 plus 5. Oh my god, I don't know. I'm okay. so bad at math, Ethan. I think you're high. I'm definitely there with you. What, um, what are you planning on eating for, for lunch or dinner? You got plans for Crab me? legs. Oh really? Yeah. <laughs> Do you dip them in something? Yeah, like, um... Like a garlic butter. Oh. How do you prepare the garlic butter? Garlic and butter. Just garlic and butter? Straight up. Do you add salt or anything or herbs? Um, the crab's like boiled in like a brine with a lot of salt. So oh, I don't really think okay, you need okay, to okay. like add the salt. Did you cook the crab? No. No. I'm going to eat the crab somewhere. Ooh, where? The boiling crab. Is that a, is that a restaurant? Yeah. Ooh. I've never I've never been there before, but it sounds really good. Is this an Ian idea or a Sam idea? It's a Sam uh, idea. I'm not invited. Yeah. Oh. Is it a girl's thing? It is a girl's thing. Girls. girls hey, not. let's get those crab legs. All right, Sam, I think you're high. Uh, it's crazy. It is. You locking crazy. that in? Yeah, I think I'm gonna. I'm trying to. I'm trying to think if there's any more embarrassing questions. Does Ian walk around naked? Not really. Yeah. Not really. No. Walking around naked is a lot. I think for and it's like, does anyone here walk around naked? Zach, uh, put your hand down. The <laughs> only time I do is when I'm waiting for my hair. Cause You're they, waiting for your hair? Like when like Lena's bleaching my hair or something. Your butt ass naked when she does <laughs> that? Because it stains my clothes. Every time I'm just in my boxers. Well, like, why not just wear, why not just. I feel like you could wear underwear. Yeah, you could wear in underwear. No, no, I, no, 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 no. I got these new Kelvins. I literally ruined them on Friday. You sit there butt ass naked? No, he's, naked. he's dying we're watching, cute, uh, no. <laughs> we're walking, watching Peaky Blinders. And I was butt ass Peaky naked. Peaky fucking <laughs> blinders. <laughs> Peekaboo, here's my dick. What if, well, what, if, what, if you get a, what if you get bleach on your dick? That's gonna happen if you don't wear boxers. Mm, I, I like sit in like position like this. You with protect. My legs kicked up in the back. AB's got a hog, oh. man. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Why do you think that, Zach? I can just tell. BDE. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, do you think about that a lot, uh, Zach? AB's cock? Yeah. Sure. <laughs> Thoughts, A.B.? He's my work boy. I, I, I think I have big dick energy, but no, I have a small cock. <laughs> <laughs> so you're saying you exude the energy, but right. in actuality, right. nothing, nothing impressive. Yeah, just misleading. I disagree. <laughs> well, he's... Okay, okay. Well, you guys are going to have to sort that out.
we'll, 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 we'll actually, sort it out. We'll yeah, you guys sort fight. out the, and let us know. Okay, so Ian doesn't walk around naked, do you? No, not really. Yeah. We have too many, like, windows. Oh, So windows. It's, it's really hard. If you had privacy, would you walk around naked? Yeah, probably. Butt-ass naked? Yeah, it's my house. Interesting. But, like, yeah, out of the shower, but, like, on a lazy Saturday, your butt-ass naked? No, I, I would probably, yeah, it would be, like, an after-shower yeah, or yeah. something like that situation. Yeah. Not just, like... Because yeah, you know, yeah. You know, not like not nudist like shit. Wednesday not like Todd shit. Yeah, yeah. Not Free like spirit. Bernstein shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your family's fucked, bro. Yeah. <laughs> love them though. Or at least I love you. I can't speak for the rest. I love you too. Thanks, buddy. All right, Sam. Um, do you want to tell us an embarrassing story? Hmm. Oh, I don't. Uh... I don't know if I necessarily have an embarrassing story. I had one about my dad. Okay. When when you were talking uh, to Zach. Okay. This is a okay. It, this is a sweet story. So, when I was younger, I was on the school bus and the school bus hit a squirrel, and I got home and I was really upset about it. It hit a squirrel. It hit a squirrel, a How big you- squirrel. How do you? How did you know a school bus hit the squirrel? I was on the bus. You saw it happen. And the squirrel ran in front of the bus. Okay, and did you? You just concluded like that thing's toast. Oh no, it was dead. Yeah, it was yeah. for sure dead. Okay. But I got home and I was so upset about it, and mm. my dad was like, "Where?" So, I was like, "Oh, it was up the street." So he went and he picked the squirrel up, and he had it taxidermied, and wow. we still have the squirrel. <laughs> To this day. <laughs> wow. That is sweet and weird. Both. I thought it was very wholesome. But a taxi I thought you guys would maybe bury it. No, it's <laughs> stuffed hanging the right so there. What, did you, what was your thought as a child when your dad presented you with this uh, cadaver? I thought it was so sweet. Really? Yeah, I was that is so really devastated thoughtful. about the squirrel. But you realize it was still dead, right? Yeah, but it's yeah. now, I could literally go home and, like, pet it right now. This wow. Was, You're going to have to send like us a ten. photo. Wait, is, okay. is, that, is that the squirrel in the basement? It is the squirrel in the so basement. So you've seen this. I've seen the squirrel. <laughs> what, was your, what, what was your thoughts when you saw that squirrel for the first time, Ian? <laughs> I didn't know that that was the squirrel. That's a legendary squirrel right there. <laughs> We're going to need photos. Can Basically. we get photos? I'll, get, I'll, I'll text my mom and tell her to send me a That's picture. incredible. Is your dad usually that sweet and thoughtful? That's like, like that's southern. That's country wholesome. That's country shit. Oh, yeah. Us city sure. slickers don't get it. No. These folks just don't get it. Is your dad uh, a big boy? What do you mean? Like? Too fat. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Is that a southern thing? Uh, I mean, I guess obesity is higher there. Yeah. So I would, I would say. Though I only ask because I know, like, if it, like the southern thing is like fat and nice. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean. What does he get food. down with? What does he eat? What does he eat? He loves Krispy Kreme. Oh, oh yeah. wow. I love. That's tough. I want blueberry cake Krispy Kreme so bad. You're on. Are you having diet cravings? Oh yeah. Yeah. For sure. Well, I feel like I've known you've been high for a w- minute now. The way you're talking about food and stuff, um, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put you on high. Actually, there's 20% saying you're sober, which is interesting. But That's I don't see it. second place, yeah. Mm. I don't see it. Thank you, Sam, for sitting here and enduring my question here. What do you, guys, I, what do you think, Abby? High? Uh, definitely high. Uh, yeah, I think high. I think high. Mm-hmm. I mean, she talked about food. First, she goes about on about the crab legs, yeah, with the butter sauce, mm-hmm. and then she goes into crisp. She's like, "Oh, I need a crispy cream right now." Yeah, my girl is high. I've, I've seen Sam drunk. She's. I mean, Sam's always funny. But when it's she's a different drunk, vibe. She's, yeah, she's hilarious. Moving on to the high. Now, Sam sat before us. She kept it pretty close to the vest, but her her excitement for food, there was a slight glaze of the eyes. 
led me to believe that young Sam is high. Sam, what is your status? I am completely sober. Oh my god! <laughs> this is a disaster. <laughs> oh no. Oh shit. You're sober as a gopher? Sober, sober as a as gopher. It gets. Oh, is this? Is Ethan, this what I, I think sent it is? in the uh, Here. Discord the picture of the squirrel. There's the squirrel. Oh shit, it's like mounted on a piece of wood? Yep. Yeah, that is a big squirrel. <laughs> That's cute. It's... They did a really good job for it was like squished under a bus? No, it no, it wasn't like uh, deformed in any way. It was <laughs> intact. It did was you good. Mean, did good you more of an impact uh, than a squish. Does the squirrel have a name? Hmm. No, I should name him though. Did you meet the squirrel's father? Does it have a big bullet? <laughs> What's his dad like? I, I want to meet that dad. That you guys say hog. <laughs> you don't like that? I hate that. Well, how, what I hate was, it too. What's your preferred uh, uh, pref, uh, na uh, noun for a, for a penis? Just dick is fine. Dick? Okay. Hog is funny. Hog. I don't know why. I just think it's funny. What, say say what that again. What about juicer? juicer? Definitely not juicer. Juicer refers to shit. Oh, come on. Juicer is a shit. Yeah, yeah it's a for shit. sure. That's yeah. no, it's so you multiple. prefer just dick. Yeah, no extras. No extras. Can you say that? Can you wait? Can you say that again? I want to clean. Something. Don't say anything, Zach. Nah. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, let me adjust this. Actually, damn, this this is embarrassing. Selling Sunset rocks. I love that show. You like the new <laughs> season? No, I think the new season is. I've only seen some of it, but it was a little, it was kind of sad because Chris L. Staus with her whole divorce and everything, uh, I don't know, I, I just thought it was kind of sad, but the Oppenheim brothers, I love thinking of, you said munchkins, they, <laughs> they are, are short kings. They're, they're not, they're, they're not kings. I hate them. They're gross. Exactly. They hired, the, they have sex with their, they, they, they're disgusting little freaks, dude. Yeah, do they? Do they have? Is it more than just Chris Staus that was dating uh, one of the? Well, he's the dating guys? one of the girls now. That's like one of the yeah. plot points. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then she reveals he dated two of the other girls previously. Oh, interesting. Anyway, whatever. I don't. I I watched the first one. This one, it just feels like work watching it. But anyway, uh, we have a few things. First of all, Love needs to eat some some strufen. It's time for the moment you've been waiting for. Yeah. Yeah, he, he takes one to no one, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> That's how he caught them. He knew where they were. Wow. Well, this took an unexpected dark turn. You know, I, I, I basically, when I, I spoke to Sam, also Sam, she's amazing. She's very sweet. Wait, um, so who's Sam? I, I, oh, you're Sa Sam. Oh, my God. What is wrong? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hold on. I need a minute to. I need a minute to recover. <laughs> Give me a minute, Start please. Over if you need to. Maybe I thought she was talking it? about her friend. I was confused. I thought she was talking about the other friend there. She kept referring to Sam, and I don't know why. My brain. Sam, I know who you are. I I'm appreciate right everything every you day. do. I know your name. <laughs> I need a I need a minute to recover, guys. Man, it is uh, Wednesday. Shot, yeah. It is Wednesday. It is Wednesday, my dudes. That's true. Oh, are you really the apology podium, Dan? Shredder's opposed. All right. Uh, give me one sec. I just need to make a quick apology. If you don't okay. mind hanging on for a sec. Sam, you are loved, you are appreciated, you are seen. I'm well aware of your name. Congratulations on the weight loss, by the way. I'm really proud of Thank you. you. I'm Thank jealous, you. actually. Um, you're talented, funny. Your name is Sam. It is. I know exactly who you are. I was confused. I thought maybe she was talking about her friend Sam, and that her maybe her friend's name was Sam. It was me. I was trying to connect the dots. It was actually Sam here in the on the crew. So I apologize, and uh, it'll never happen again. Okay. 
Thank you. Great. Keep, keep this closer. For okay. <laughs> I'm sure we'll need that again soon. Thank you, Dan. <laughs> so, um, well, I'm not surprised, but uh, some, I'm not surprised by your story, as horrific as it is. But yeah, wow, no, I, what a I, piece of shit. 